Good morning. 420. Hi. 420. And uh, we headed out first thing this morning. We're trying to go get on some of them big drone fish. And, uh, hey, when you got it bad, you got it bad, right? But if you want to if you want to catch the big ones, you got to be on it. The early bird gets smart, and that's what I've always heard. So we headed out this morning, and uh, got to just hang out. I know some of y'all watch this on the plate. Good morning. We just creeping this morning. It's cold. It is cold. That's all right, though. It's about it, it's serious. What's up, Dr. Shaw? We just got to get on us a black drum, we have, or a big red drum, either one. But some of us got it bad, Dr. When it comes to this fishing. Hold on, Charlie. If you feel like getting on, I'll drop the link with you. You can get up and bullshit with me. If you feel like it, man. Look how pretty it is out here, Shawty. About another, about another week or so, I won't need a jacket. We'll be ready to roll. We're just creeping this morning because it dews out and it's kind of cold. get down here to our spot and get anchored up it'd be better off but them big ones has been rolling through so hopefully we'll get on this morning that's when you know you got it bad right most people won't get up at four o'clock in the morning and go to work much less long go fishing but fishing's just like hunting you got to be there a lot Thankfully, I got on two jackets this morning. I got me some lights in here now. Oh, shit. It is nice and calm there. Yesterday, the wind was up real hard. It was hard. It was too much to fish yesterday. The wind was just too rough. Hey, Miss Savannah, you up off early this morning? I can't help it. I love the, the night lights against the sky. Shotty was gonna get up. Oh no. Yeah, no, nah, I went to bed early last night. Matter of fact, after I got off stream with Rich, I went and ate me a couple grilled cheeses and got cleaned up and went straight to bed. It's hard for me to stay up all night long anymore. I just hope these things are biting. But they've been catching them, so I don't see why they wouldn't be. Yesterday when we went to come down to my spot down here, I, when I messed up by posting it on social media because the next thing you know, they were flooded down here with boats. 
I know better than that, though. Oh, y'all just got home? Well, thankfully you made it back home safely. What's up, Shawty? Yo, man, it, it wouldn't take my password. I had to make a new password and verify through my email and text Damn. and everything. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird sometimes. Yeah, that's happened to me before, too. Uh, I yeah, uh, yeah. It's a StreamYard huh? thing, I think. It's a StreamYard thing, I think. Yeah, then I go to change it, and it says, don't use the password you just used. I'm like, well, that's the one that's not taken. Huh. What's up with you, brother? How you doing? Insomnia, man. I got to be up and... Uh, let's see. About four hours. I'm, For what? You got to work tomorrow? Yeah. You better go your ass to sleep, bro. I'm just wondering if I'm going to feel better if I sleep three four hours or if I just stay on up. Ah, uh, man. You probably ought to get you some sleep, buddy. Staying up, what do you got to do tomorrow? I got to cut grass. Yeah, you better get you some damn sleep. What's the temperature been up there? Um, uh, day before yesterday, it was in the 70s. Uh, yesterday, the, the high was like 55, now, maybe. I guess I really should have said, What's it been at night? Oh, uh, it's been in the 30s. Yeah, well, the grass ain't grown. Nah, I'm going to feel like crap either way, so I might as well stay up. Well, you'll go to bed when you get home tomorrow, for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Huh? Why are you working on a Sunday? Just got to get it done. You know what? I, I never enjoyed working on Sunday. I never have. I don't enjoy working any day of the week. <laughs> now, hey, I enjoy being at work now. The camaraderie and hanging out, getting stuff done. Uh, Always. I'm, I enjoy the you know freedom it gives me. But working on, I mean, you know what, dude? I used to work seven days a week, Shotty. I would work from daylight till dark. Sometimes I wouldn't get home till seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. And no matter how much extra I worked. It, Pay off. Yeah. Yeah, because it took away from what I could do in a 40 hour week because I was so tired. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so I just I quit doing it. Yeah, you gotta have like the money mindset, you know what I mean? You gotta Oh yeah. Thinking about the money and pushing forward. Oh yeah, for sure. But I just always realized I mean after a while, like we're not We'd hang sheetrock or whatever. It's hard to hang at night anyway because you have to have all them lights tripping over cord. Back then, there wasn't all this cordless stuff that they got now. So yeah. It's tripping over extension cords, busting lights. It just it never really worked out too well. And not only that, it just the work didn't seem as good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. We fixed to get on them this morning, bro. Yeah, it looks like a good night to be fishing. Uh, it is. It's a good morning anyway. It's four o'clock in the morning. It's morning time. That's the only fishing I do, honestly, is catfishing. Yeah. Well, I don't catfish, dude. It's just, uh, you know, it's a lot less work. Right. You just well, throw it out and you sit and wait. It's not like, you know, you got a bass fishing where you got to keep reeling in, throwing, reeling in, throwing. Oh, no, 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 no. I fish with uh, live bait, and I fish with uh, dead crabs, blue crabs. Them fish, but you're talking about fish, though. You know what I mean? 20 pounds. Yeah, talk about, talking about ocean fish and lake fish, too. <laughs> yeah, well, it's brackish water. It's salt water, yeah. But it's just, it's a, it's a better type of fishing, man. But they don't always bite, though. You know what I mean? It, like with catfish, yeah. you can go any time of the day. And 
they're going to bite, more than likely, at something. This is a time yeah. frame. you got a couple hours during the day. It's like they feed just like humans do. Yeah. They eat lunch, breakfast, and, or breakfast, lunch, dinner, just like you. And traveling schools. Oh, shit. I, I get up here, I have to throw the anchor out. Oh, Rich got up with me for a little while yesterday. Oh, yeah? He, yeah, he disappeared and we shut the train down, but I had been live for about two or three hours. I usually don't stay live that long. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to get burnt out on. Well, I mean, what, what all is there to talk about? You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, we just, he talked about some. Hey, Rich is an interesting guy, though. He's done a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. But we fixing to catch us some damn fish this morning. That's what I'm hyped up on. I'm just taking it easy because it's like 50 degrees. That's cold to me, though, Shotty. What like is those? Green? Degree weather, you know what What's I mean? those lights? Hot. Is that, is that, the laps? I'm just trying to figure out what that's that is. That's what I'm looking at. Look like pyramids. What, in front of us right there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, as a bridge, as well. Oh, a bridge. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's support. It's hard to tell on my phone. Nah, oh, I'm sure. That see, you know what though? That's something I don't understand. Is Doug Boats was right there by that dam. They had just pulled that boat off the uh, port in Maryland, and when they started having a problem, them Doug should have been hauling the ass right back to it. But, uh, it's random, ain't it? Like it, that don't happen often. I mean, if ever, like, bro, it, it happened a couple times. I mean, to that is you know destruction, unless the media just didn't cover it. I mean, that was a big bridge, you know, but still, yeah. like, you don't, it's not very common you hear of boats crashing into bridges like it. Right now, I seen another post. Uh, I just I couldn't figure out when it was. But where another uh, a barge hit a bridge, and um, it knocked a bunch of the concrete of the piling down and shook it pretty hard. And it was a, like it wasn't a major major bridge, like an interstate bridge. But yeah. It was a size bridge. But you know what? Though them big boats that go in and out from underneath there should have tugboats on them, especially them real huge bridges that can cause destruction like that. If it can knock something down, you know, a certain weight class. It ought to have tugs on it when it passes by these bridges. They should just have to pay extra money. Was it a student driver or something? Like, how did they not know to, you know, how did they? I, well, a lot of, like I was saying the other day, a lot of these boats run off GPS. They're computer, yeah. they're computer controlled. They're not like old time where they had manual steering. A lot of them still do, but they're, they, they run off that computer. And they just weren't paying attention, like looking at front. Uh, computer malfunctions or something. It's not about paying attention. There's just not jack shit you can do. They couldn't slow it down by the time they seen they was headed for it. Right. Right. And once you get, I bet you them things weigh shit. There ain't no telling, man. They probably weigh a couple million pounds. Once they get them boats moving, it's hard just to stop them. It's not like on the ground. It's water. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a drain stuff and they can't once. Yeah, and then, like, those props, if they get bubbles on them, like when they reverse them, I know people don't understand this, but if they get bubbles on them props, it gets a lot less traction. And um, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Yeah, it won't grab the water like it would if it, once it gets the bubbles on it, like when they turn them props in reverse real quick, Bubbles get air gets trapped on that propeller. I don't know how it does it, but I've seen it on video because when I was trying to figure out what was going on with my boat, that's what was happening. It was it was cavitating, but it gets air on the prop, and once it does that, it don't let it bite into the water, so it don't get traction. It's like spinning out on ice. Right, <laughs> right. Or it's like, like skiing. 
damn, it's been in a dark up there at night. Yeah. That's cold, dude. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, it makes me love it here even more. Man, I'm jealous. Bro, let me, let me tell you something, though. You pay for it during the time, I promise. Yeah, every time I've went down there in the south, that, you know, we're like, uh, you pay for Florida, it. Florida, I'm burnt like a lobster. Then I come back home and it's like, it's not as hot. Like, you can feel the humidity in there and it's like, it can yeah, be 90 degrees hot. and it bother you like after you've been a week in Florida, you know? Yeah, it's a sticky hot here. Yeah. But like I say, I'm just taking it easy this morning. We ain't going but four mile an hour. Oh shit! But watch, I'm gonna catch some monsters. How many pound tests do you use? Uh, twenty on some, fifty on a couple, and sixty on one or two, I think. <coughs> yeah, you gotta use some pound tests here, but I'm using that uh, spider wire. I don't use regular mine. Yeah, it's better water, but like uh, weed eating string. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what it takes. So. And see, I, I'm really fishing with the undersized reels. I'm fishing with a 4,000 and a 5,000. You really need like a 9,000, 7,000. Uh, like I need your 33. Oh, you'll never catch shit out here with that. They'll eat that. I they'll pull in a, Moby Dick with 33. <laughs> I, they'll, they'll take a, 30, a zip code 33 and have sparks shooting out of it. No, I'm just messing with you. Yeah. Now, you can use one of them. You ever heard of a, a, a seven, 737 hog? I think it's a 737. Uh, I, yeah, I got one in like an 808. Yeah. Now, those you can catch something with. Oh, yeah, for sure. Last long. Yeah. Yeah, I got both of those. I think seven thirty-seven. Yeah. I think eight. Wait. But see, once you get to about a twenty-five or twenty-seven-inch redfish, that's they're about maxed out. So that's what you're going for, you said, redfish. Yeah, we're looking for forty and fifty-inch fish tonight. Do you like to eat fish? I caught some last weekend, but you ever catch swordfish? Huh? You ever catch swordfish? Mm -mm. Now that's offshore. If you, you catch a swordfish up here, it, it'd be rare. Not saying that it wouldn't happen. They don't come up in here too tough. You ever ate swordfish? Their food's offshore. What they eat is offshore. Uh. Uh, I've eaten trigger fish. You know what trigger fish is? Uh-huh. Uh -uh. No. No, trigger fish is good. They don't have no scales. They're, they're, uh, but their meat is very, very good. You bake it in the oven with lemon, Jesus, you'll slap somebody to get that. And I'm not a big fish eater. <laughs> I'll eat you like fish because they don't taste like Nah, nah, catfish too muddy tasting to me. I love catfish, man. I, yeah, but I'm telling you, Shotty, I have to, I have to figure out how to send y'all some of this fish from down here. Uh, that would be. I, you'll, I, you'll be emailing me all the time. Uncle Will, send me some more of that fish, man. I'll be emailing you saying how the best way to fix it. Yeah, but deep fried, just like you do. Uh, shrimp or chicken nuggets oh yeah yeah flay it up yeah you flay it up and then cut it up in small chunks and batter it and deep fry it dude you talking about good whoa bless your mouth make your tongue beat your brains out oh rusty i like he a little jealous of you and uh rich I Getting on y'all about y'all's little gaming streams. Uh, yes, I'd say you're just joking around. No, I know it. I know it. But he's still jealous of it, though. 
<laughs> you think? He's taking his buddy. I mean, man, it's just, I don't know. The game is just, I like it so much more than I do Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, listen, I like I liked it when he was doing his flying thing, but not a lot of people were into it, so I don't think he put it up anymore. Yeah, I liked I, it, too. I like Rusty, man. Flight Simulator. Yeah, that was cool as shit. Yeah, the uh, truck simulating is cool, too, the trucking. Dude, some of them people get that shit outrageous. Got a whole one that look like a, you're actually inside a semi and shit. Yeah, dude. A lot of people bet on, like, uh, you know, like the racing, like NASCAR games. They'll be big tournaments, and the people will put in big money, and they'll race. That shit's crazy. I can't get into all that, though, dude. I mean, it'd be fun if you're good at making money at it, I guess. But you gotta remember though, Shotty, I'm not from a game here. You know what I mean? I'm really not. There's some people my age that play. Yeah. But for the most part, man, we was always outside. There's Rich new book right there. Is he in here? What's up, homie? He heard us talking shit about him, didn't he? See how fast it got. You can't even talk bad about people without him showing up, man. Always in the bushes. Probably. Jump your old ass up, Rich. Yeah, I figured, I, you, you know, not many people up. You can use the company. I figured I didn't have anybody to talk to. And I was sitting here bored. And... Well, I appreciate it. We fixed and catch us some fish today, Bob. Hopefully, he might. Hopefully, I ain't out here wasting my time. I don't think that's possible. I don't yeah. think that's possible. Never know, dude. Not fishing. Well, even if I don't catch nothing, I'm just as happy to be out here, though. You know what I mean? I enjoy yeah. this shit too much. The peace that I get. I mean, damn, dude, if you was looking at what I was looking at right now, you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll see what's up. It's just being a nature man. We got to get in about 20 Man, I think it'd do a lot of people good if they just, still you know, I'm not, myself included, to get out in nature more. Dude, hey, it's a good place for you to think, man. Yeah, ground yourself. And not only that, how do you? If something was to happen, not saying it's going to, but if something was to ever happen, you'd be educated on how to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? A lot of people think that they're survivalists and shit, but I promise you when it really boils down to it, they're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. They say somebody, uh, I think I think they found parts of somebody's body out there on the Jack Speaks today, yesterday. I seen it on the news. Dang. It beats working. Yeah, it does, Rich. Yeah, the police run the news people off, so what's that tell you? Uh, they got like a little... A little uh, new something. Yeah. They shouldn't. Yeah. And the fishermen dragged it up, but, man, there's never no telling. There's some crazy-ass nuts around here, dude. For, dude, crazy people everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah. whatever. They'll chop your ass up and throw you out in the ocean here, though. That's where a lot of the people, man, when they come up missing and they can't find them, I think that's what happens to them. They put their ass on a boat and take them out there. Man, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, where I'm from, you know, if you threaten somebody on the Internet that you're going to show up, and if you actually, like, did show up, there's people where, like, where I'm from, they'll literally sit in a tree stand with a rifle and wait on you. Yeah, oh yeah, there's some crazy ass folks out here for sure. Yeah. Ain't none of these bitches showing up though, dude. Grab that link, Rich. Quit being a sissy. If you fall asleep, I just I'll kick you out. I'll make fun of you. Nah, he ain't gonna make fun of me. He won't come in. 
All right, Shotty, give me just a second. Thirty percent crap. We in the twenty twenty. Oh yeah, there's fish down there too, buddy. A bunch of them. Using, uh, I guess you're using a fish finder, aren't you? How deep of water are you in right now? Hey, what's up, Corliss? Yeah, no, I got a good fish finder. Uh, what's, how deep of water does it say you're in right now? 16. But there's fish everywhere. You see what they do. They'll, uh, them drum, they'll, they'll feed off the bottom. They'll get them crabs. Yeah. And, uh, that's the same 15. But you can see the fish finder. It's loaded. Hold on, let me turn this camera around. There's fish everywhere down there, which I got it on small, so it's hard to see them, but you should be able to see them. That's some fancy technology right there. Can you see all them dots? Yeah. That's all fish. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I got it set too sensitive, but if I back it up, I think. Hold on. Yeah, it's maxed out. That's what it is. But that's all fish down there. It's so technology in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got some shit these days. What's up? Good morning. Crossroads. Carlos. Ain't that how you say that name? I call him Corliss. Corliss. Okay. But I think that's how you say it. It's hard with this stream yard, man. I can't get that phone to blow up real big. It's hard to see. Let me drop one of these lines out. Yeah, it's hard not to kick yourself out and everything. Uh -huh. I said, and on the phone, you have to try not to kick yourself out and everything. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. That's the worst part, I think. Dude, Lil Payday, when I first started streaming, Lil Payday would have to let me back in and shit. It was embarrassing. On your own stream? Huh? On, on your own stream? or? No, well, on his, but oh. even on my own stream. But if, when, I was, when I'd go to his stream, he'd have to let me back in. I'd, I'd kick myself out. Wow. We got this old lady's bowl this morning. I tried to get her to go with me, but she just ain't been feeling too good, man. That damn sickness has got her. It's, it's got a lot of people, dude. What's wrong? That same shit that's going around. Uh, being sick weeks at a time. She's all congested up. And Rich Newbuck's been sick on and off for a while, too. I think he said he had COVID. And I got a How about that shit? You know what, uh, Uncle Will? Hold on, I'll show you what we're fishing with this morning. He's actually still bubbling. Them crabs are live days, man. And, uh, I got him on. He's just a little cold right now. See him right there. He's actually starting to move a little bit now. He's been in that cooler since probably Friday night on ice. Can you see the bubbles in his mouth? Yeah. Yeah. He ain't fixing to be alive long, though. We fixing to do his ass in. Where are you hooking him at? Huh? Where are you hooking him at? Um, through the legs. What you do is you take, and take the legs off. Cut him in half, take the legs off, and uh, just hook it through there like that. You'll see in just a second. I'll show you. Just 
take a knife and cut him right down the middle. Just like that. Rip his claws off, rip his leg off. And see, a lot of guys are buy, buying frozen crabs from the bait store, and it's really best to use fresh bait, man. Them fish know, you know what I mean? Right. It's just like you, you don't want no freezer burnt steak. You want something fresh. And it's, and the, I'd say, the, you know, the bigger fish have been hooked before. Oh, yeah. Hey, so the ones that I was catching last weekend, whew, that was a treat, man. You can't keep them. That one, I had to pull him and get him back going. Sometimes they, they fight so hard getting them up that you got to take and kind of like keep them in the water and just kind of hold them beside the boat and let fresh water get over their gills. That's and, interesting. Yeah, well, it puts oxygen back in their, in their blood because they fight so hard getting up that they can't breathe. They can't swim fast enough to get oxygen back in them. So if you pull them beside the boat, what happens is, is uh, it puts the oxygen back in. It forces it. It's almost like it's almost like giving somebody uh, CPR. You know what I mean? Huh. When they use that machine, yeah, it's hard to understand. But and I, I don't want to kill these fish. You know what I mean? I love them. I love fishing for them. You fish for them again? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, but see now a lot of these damn people that come out now don't know and they'll throw them back and then the next thing you know you see them floating down the river because they don't take the time to uh, revive them. Right. And you don't want to kill your stock, you know what I'm saying, that's where they come from. It takes five years for these fish to breed. That's what pisses me off, man, when I see people not taking the time to learn or study of what they're doing. They just want, what's up, Uncle Charlie? World famous. Yes, sir. That's my partner right there, man. I like old Charlie D. Charlie D is tire man, too, so me and him family. He's a world famous tire man? Yes, sir. So, I don't want to show you how you hook him. I just don't want to drop this stuff on my phone. You better be careful with your phone and it'll slip right out. Charlie, grab that link, Bob. Oh, shit. He may have already. What's going on, Crossroads? Uh, just chilling. How you guys doing this morning? Pretty good, buddy. Pretty good. We out here trying to catch us a big one. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Let me try to turn this camera back off. Can you, can you see that, Shotty? Yeah. See how I got him hooked to his leg right there? And then I bring it out the point of the hook. I bring it out the other, the other leg joint. That's all there is to it. Thanks. It's new to me, man. I'm used to fishing in the lake. Yeah. Well, hey, let me tell you something now. There's stuff that lives in that lake that fish eat too. It ain't all about just using worms and, and crickets and stuff. You know what I mean? Because think about it like this. Think them fish eat besides that. There's not always there's not crickets always in the water. You understand what I'm saying? I usually use a live bluegill when I'm catfishing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's hey, live bluegill catch a bass too. Uh goldfish and in, in the pay lake, goldfish, but I'm not big on pay lakes. You hey. can't catch a catfish on goldfish in the lake though. What the hell's a pay lake? It's just like Five-acre pond where they, you don't have to have a fishing license. You just pay to fish for 12 hours or 24 or whatever. Well, I guess that's better than. But it's mainly catfishing. Yeah. Yeah, I, they, that's better they stock the lakes or something like that. Yeah, uh, they go to the river and get the catfish and then stock the pay lakes with, the river, with those catfish from the, you know, the, the river. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just found out about pay lakes uh, last year from a friend of mine over in Ohio. I've never heard of them before. Well, 
hey, I guess, you know what? I used to be against people paying to hunt, right? Because I, I always thought, like, hunting high fence is really wasn't hunting. And then a buddy of mine kind of broke it down to me. He's like, hey, man, some people can't take the time out of their life to go hunting. Like if a doctor or something or to them, they're too valuable to society to be out in the woods 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's really yeah. them to be able to go get their fix and feel part of nature by hunting in a high fence. And I was like, yeah, I guess I see your point, but I'm not paying for $5,000 to go hunting. I just, I'm not doing it. Well, you're going to keep the meat too. Yeah, but you're not, uh, you're not guaranteed to, uh, not guaranteed to kill. Right. <clears throat> Jason, my partner just spent $10,000. Him and another buddy of mine went hunting. Three of them. And it cost them like 10 grand. That's a lot of money, dude. Did they get a shot? Oh, wow. Huh? Did they get a shot? Hold on, dude. Yeah, we're fixing to catch fish, y'all. He's eating it right now. I'm just going to let him have it. It's either a, a big one getting on it or it's trash fish hitting it. But yeah, $10,000, that wasn't including the damn air airfare up there and all that shit. Oh, yeah, we fixing the hook customer now. Damn, that's going to be quick. That's a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money. You're supposed to be guaranteed a shot at one, though. Well, it just... It, it depends on where you go. Not every, not every place is the same. You would think that for the money. Let's see if I can get this on that phone. Yeah, I'm not for, you know, pay lake fishing is one thing, but I'm not about to go and do that. Well, but see, me and you would go out in the woods. I don't know if y'all can see that pole, but I just watched it. He done grabbed it. Can you see that? You can't even see the tip of that pole. Uh -oh. It's got dead bait on it and it's moving, so they don't just move like that. He's got it it's swallowing it, I think. We'll see. Or they just bumping it around one to two. But they'll pick it up and take off with it. It might be sitting in its mouth. I thought somebody What's up, Uncle Charlie? Did it add him? There we go. What's going on? <laughs> what up, Charlie? Hey, Charlie was on with me last weekend when I caught a big one, wasn't Charlie? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the doctor thugging numbers right there. I almost thought that was a fake Uncle Charlie. I was fixing to have to drop him off stream. I thought maybe we was fixing to get us a, a show. You got to be careful no. with something. I don't whoop my little thing out. Or nothing. Ah, them girls was damn sure after you the other night, wasn't it? I thought that shit was funny, boy. That was some Uncle Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate all of them, too. I was able to get my medicine. That's what's up, bro. That's all that's important. Get my I'm, buddy by my medicine. Hey, the so, so that was, I made my wife do, send it, send my part. I appreciate y'all so much. Oh, yeah, we appreciate you, Charlie. You gotta have it, and that wasn't e begging, dog. When somebody offers to do something for you, e begging is getting on there saying, you know what I mean, asking for money and shit. You never asked. You was just in the conversation, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's not e begging, dog. And we appreciate no. you help you. That's shit you need. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, one of these days, <laughs> one of these days, I'll, I'll, uh, do me some lives and stuff. <laughs> you gonna, gonna, you gonna have to get you a lawyer. They're gonna, they're gonna lock you up and kill you too if you get down there. Do what? I said you gonna, you gonna get, you need you a lawyer if they get you in the court or in the jail. They gonna kill you down there too because your uh, police department's corrupt. <laughs> Is that the story no. you go? No, I ain't gonna be like it. Uh, if that's if that's what you gotta do is be an asshole, then I won't. I won't do it. You know. <laughs> that's some word of wisdom right there. You talking about the uh? You talking about the fish finder? 
I don't see I'm talking about I'm talking about motherfuckers talking- saying corruption and all this shit, just making shit up. Yeah, I know somebody was at comments. I got the sensitivity yeah. that wrong, so they look blue. But they down there for sure. I'm sitting in the yeah. same spot where I caught them big ones last weekend. Charlie, let me tell you something. Yeah. I messed around and put that shit on Facebook and all. And then yeah. the next day, I couldn't even get my boat in down here. And nobody was fishing down here. Because Would I'm they sitting, recognize, yeah, they recognize where you were? Yeah, I'm sitting next to the Danes Point Bridge. It's, if you're from here, it's easy to find. Oh. I told the old lady, I said, I won't do that shit no more. <laughs> you can't trust nobody, not, not even your friends when it comes to fishing spots. Well, oh, they, heck no. they seen what I was yeah. pulling up. <clears throat> I don't hardly put <laughs> nothing on Facebook too much. Well, it was hooked to Instagram. I disconnected that. Oh. No. But man, I can't I, even get in my I can't even get in my Instagram. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's for the best. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Rich. Rich dipped out on us, didn't he? Yeah, I'm yeah, probably gonna have to get off too, bud. He must be mad because I I got off stream when when he had a song Hall while back. But it's hell when you're that famous, though. You know what I mean? People won't hold on for you. It, it probably hurt your feelings a little bit. We sorry, Rich. We did. Yeah, I appreciate you having me up. Uh, hope all y'all have a good night and a good day tomorrow. Yeah, you too, Shotty. Well, you, you gonna run off? off? You gonna run uh, off, Shotty? Yeah, I got a busy morning. Yeah. Click, bro. I'll holler at y'all later. All right, all right have a good one, bro. All right, peace out. Hey, y'all, hold on. I think I got him. Y'all hold on. I think so. I ain't for sure, but. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe not. <laughs> so I heard you're my dad, Charlie. Yeah, I went over there to put him in check. <laughs> I went over there as the border patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Where was that? Did at? you say it? Huh? Where? What was you doing? Oh. uh King Kush and all that was over there. Uh oh. I go. Are you still there? Yeah, hey, I can hear I don't you. know what happened. All right. Anyway, King Kush and them was over there, and uh, they were saying that, that I looked like I could be uh, HBR's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> that we looked alike. So, so I popped out of dance and went over there and hit the link. It popped up in there under the border patrol. <laughs> Air Kush. You know, King got- King Kush, he gets on here talking about he had slipped over here illegally. So that's why I went in there under the border patrol. And Bird said, I don't think I like that name. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> hell, he's over here talking shit. So I'm picking back. But then yeah. Square was talking about uh, I was being racist and shit. Hell, King Kush thought it was funny. But then I went to chew it out Square's ass for having to even think about it. Of knowing if it's wrong with that, that Foxy Bridget girl, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit. Like, hell... I don't give a fuck who their daddy, who their mama, or any of that. It's fuck wrong is wrong. What what you know, you know she's a fourteen year old runaway. What what happened now? Oh well oh. A D was asking Square if he if yes or no questions, like do you do you support that shit or not? And they said, well, it depends if the parent, no, motherfucker, it don't. The parents are being wrong, too. You know, you just say, no, I don't support it. But that's why everybody's after his ass now for supporting the damn uh, pedo supporter or whatever. Yeah. Like, man, now I he's think- trying to say what. Well, sorry, I don't go think- ahead. 
No, I just, I don't think Square's all right in the mind, dude, just to be honest. That's, yeah. that's why I don't never fuck with him, right? When, when I first got on and uh, Square was trying to get me to come defend him and shit, and my hatred was, he's like, well, because I was like, what the hell's that little dude still? And it kind of might kind of fill me in on him. Yeah. And I, mm, so I just avoided him because I knew it was trouble. Let me tell you something. Yeah. If I was in a community, uh, good morning, here, Billy. If I was in a, com a community where I was getting attacked all the time for saying stupid shit, I'd just shut that page down and go start another one somewhere. But he needs the attention regardless if it's good or bad. So he, he needs it. You know what I mean? And he thinks he's going yeah. to change people's mind. And once, uh, once they start, you know, classifying you as a certain type of way, it, that's a wrap. You stuck with that forever. You're not changing people's opinion of you. And it's just, well, he don't, he don't register, but he takes advantage of his grandpa. He, he's in a, oh, he yeah. was in a position if he'd listened to all of us. And quit fucking overdosing every day. Yeah. On here. And if he'd listened, everybody would have watched his shit just because he's goofy and funny. Right. Yeah, we pick at him and shit because he did kill them people. You I, know? Didn't, see, I didn't know that until here recently. What's up, 90s mate? But it, so he, what he, he got in a DUI wreck or something? Well, he he hit somebody. They they it was it was the other people's fault, but he was speeding a little bit. But he t boned them, and it killed them two elderly people. Then, and uh, he sued them. He sued the family for and thirty thousand dollars or whatever he got off of them. And then he was, huh? I said, "What a piece it, of shit!" I didn't know that. Yeah. It, it was an elderly couple. Anyways, then he was supposed to be taking care of an old dude named Saul. That's the one we pick at him because they was like boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever you call it. Saul, but he yeah. was the dude, the old dude. And anyways, really? he was getting in that dude's pills. And uh, anyways, I guess the wheel was in there or whatever, and he's seen his name on the wheel. And uh, anyways, he didn't go by there and check on the dude for a week or so, and he died three days uh, before he went back to check on him. Then he got on here and told me, ooh, my best friend Saul died. And then he looked, he ate like he's crying. He looked through his fingers to see what it looked like at the camera. Are you ooh. Uh, square, he a whole piece of work. He yes, really so we don't know if we don't know if he just let him go without his pills and stuff or food for that long or what. Well, he says he, went, he wasn't on duty or whatever. If he went for three fucking days, uh, and he's supposed to be caretaking, yeah, yeah, that's on him. Yeah, that's on him. Hey, that's just like that that damn uh. That chick, that lima chick that had uh, conservatorship over that Manda uh, Manda Grab lady or whatever. Y'all, yeah. have you watched any of that? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, that's fucking sad, dude. And that's what got me on that damn soft white underbellies to start with. Because he's... They I said, like that. Huh? I like that video you did at, where he says, I don't give a fuck. Oh, um, yeah, people pissed at me about that why are you bound and determined to to ruin this man i'm not i'm just pointing out that's not his every word yeah hey listen so do i think the dude's a bad dude no but do i think that he should have posted a 13 year old girl half naked oh she was in a swimsuit i don't give a fuck he knew enough to censor it so something wasn't right with it and he shouldn't have, well he was just bringing awareness well, let me tell you something. People on YouTube monetizing a video ain't the people you need to be bringing awareness to. It, it shocks me no. how stupid well, people he are. Well, he got on there and said it's about the money for him. Yeah, but it just it shocks me how stupid people are. The people that should have been made aware was the fucking HRS or human, uh, Department of Children's Families, somebody. And somebody had the nerve to comment on here. 
oh, it, you can't help that kid. She'll just run away back to the streets again. And it's like she's 13 fucking years old. What are you talking yeah. about? It doesn't yeah. matter. She does run away and go back to the streets. She's fucking worth trying to help and save. People are fucked up, man. They are. In order to be they against really are. <laughs> That's that's what I, I had a problem with with uh like I like up church and everything, but I had the problem with that, that picture he put on there. I got to. that's what I told him that day. I like I like church. I know it goes through a lot of shit, but I just did I didn't understand the context behind it. And well, didn't I think listen, didn't believe it was right any kid, you know, doing being put on there. What I'm, picture was that? I finished that conversation me and you was having the other day. Okay. So I'm going to tell you why he's hooked up on Xanime. And I'm going to tell you why Xanime freaked out so bad now. Now that I'm I don't like Xanime now. I don't like her at all. She's it's, There's something about her. Hear me out, Charlie. I'm going to tell you right. what, what everybody picked up on. She had inside information on that case with that cop, with that sheriff. Yeah. And to me, that cop should have never told her shit about that case. That That's who put the arrow on the ground for her to fucking know where to go, the whole deal. And when they picked up on it, thinking that she was acting suspicious, when she said we, that's who she was talking about. When she said we're in contact with Ronnie, that's who she was talking yeah. about, her fucking friend cop. Now, do I think that yeah. she was part of that child abduction shit? No. But do I think that she was using fucking Kylie Rodney's death for a financial gain of her own? Yes. And that shit. Well, it, reason, the reason yeah. I had a problem, because you know I investigated shit, is because she was in a kayak the day before right above that damn car. Yeah, and yep. that arrow that was on the ground in that video was marked there by the sheriff telling her where to go. Well, did you hear about um, the two trucky officers that were... Uh, yeah, I'm arrested one. recently over sexual misconduct. Yeah, I'm the one that put that video out. Yeah. Oh, you put up a video about it too. Yeah, I I put that up a long time ago. I didn't I didn't see that one. Yeah, what me and Osmond just did live about it. What a month ago or something? A couple weeks ago. Yeah, there's there's was, a lot of strange stuff like well, the dude, sheriff. I, uh, Counts, bro. Sixteen counts of rape. That count yeah. didn't just start doing that. You know what I mean? That yeah. was that he felt comfortable doing, and that explains. And they, a lot of them girls were drunk and under the influence of alcohol. So there's no telling how many kids or how many people he's he's molested. That just ain't. Yeah. That might have been. That might have been why they couldn't really find no evidence. Right. Is that the same friend? Is that the same friend that anime had? No, the, she no. was in. No, she was in friends with the sheriff. Well, the sheriff. So I mean, why did the sheriff he, tell her to go out there in a boat above the car? I don't know. I don't know why. The, I think the sheriff just gave her like inside information where she was at and all that shit, as far as what the, what what the case was happening and all, where she went missing at. I don't think they knew that that girl was in the water right there. So, yeah, but if either one of you ever heard of uh, the water and the anime was right over it. Oh, yeah. Well, here's yeah. what me. Here's what puzzles me about the whole thing. So, Kylie went missing what on the 6th of August, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Right. I don't remember exactly well, when. Two or three days later, they had a confirmed identification of her being somewhere outside of somebody's house freaking out. Now, yeah. if, if you was getting away from your abductor, you'd be freaking the fuck out if they sexually assaulted you or something. You know what I mean? If you went yep. to traumatic experience. Now, so what that, about the cars that followed her in there and parked up the road waiting on them to come back, whoever drove her car in there to run they, back and get back in the vehicle with them? Yeah, they picked them. They picked them up. That kid didn't just drive yeah. down in the water. Let me tell you something. Mm. That young and party down there every fucking weekend. She knew exactly where she was at. Any place mm -hmm. I partied as a kid, I knew every ins and outs. That was their hangout, and that's why yeah. they took 
back to that spot is because it would look like she just drove in the water. They thought that shit out. They had to put, if it, she'd have wound up somewhere else, it would have looked suspicious. You understand? If she'd have ended up, they'd have found her body 20 miles from there. They'd have been like, oh shit, yeah. somebody abducted this kid. But being that she was at the same spot, it just looked like that's where what had happened. And they, they thought that shit out. There's some smart motherfuckers, man that think out of the side of the box and they knew exactly what to do to cover up everything. That window was busted out of that fucking car or down something. It don't make no sense. It rolled down the back window. Well, well, you both, you both have been around cars, you know, CRVs. You guys both know the space between the rear seat and that back glass. There is no way anybody's fitting through there. Well, she could have maybe fit through there, but it had been a struggle. And by that time, that car would have been filled up full of water. It had just been easier to go out the side window. Yep. Yeah, so I don't believe that shit for a minute. And then she, she was all the way in the back compartment. She wasn't just in the back seat. No, yeah. yeah, she was in the back. All the way in the back. There's yeah, no... you, wouldn't just, you wouldn't just float back there. Mm -mm. No, there ain't no. no side or anything. That's still body of water. That's what I was saying. It was saying. upside down. Yep. Yep. And then not only that, when the car goes upside down, the bottom of the car becomes the top. The top becomes the bottom. Yeah. So she'd have been. And you ain't going to try to oh. swim down to get under a seat. Right. Exactly, Charlie. Yep. That, that was my fucking point. That was my point. The whole thing just don't make sense. And I think they yep. had such sexual shit going on over there and so many investigations on their officers that they couldn't afford that and not only that that fucking 15 year old kid done killed somebody there's a couple different motives that could have happened yeah well John, uh good morning have you guys ever heard of a sheriff who makes five hundred thousand dollars a year no truck the sheriff does hey well not only that probably, probably all of them all of them crooked does they probably yeah. sell dope on the side they're the, or something she, the sheriff of that town is the coroner too. So how easy would it be to do your own investigation and roll it up? Yep. You know, oh. they never that kid for fentanyl either. Do what? They never tested her for fentanyl. No. I thought they tested her for everything and it just had no. nicotine and a no, little no. uh little THC and and no alcohol. And, and if you go back Yeah, to not that, not really that, water in her lungs. So hey. like she was dead before she went in the water. Right. Yeah. Go back and watch that in that first video with damn Tony Dodge and them. That girl, Sammy, makes it clear that she was drunk. She makes it fucking clear. Oh, me and yeah, her. the two dudes. The two night. dudes said she was drunk and everything. Yeah, of course, yeah. been Ronnie's cousins. Mm-hmm. Yep, that whole thing was bullshit. Yeah, all of it was very, very suspect. Very. Yeah. Oh, I've been getting some weird comments, dude. Ever since me and you done that live. Charlie, I've been getting some yeah. weird dude. What did they say? Something about me? No, 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 no. Just about what me and you was talking about. Yeah. Remember well, that night? What, what was crazy is anime, she... She deleted that damn live that she did in the kayak with scuba well, equipment. Yeah. Well, they I know it it's so if she didn't look bad, but it made her look more guilty to me. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I don't know if maybe she just got nervous because people were coming at her. But see, she don't understand. They all tried to blame Ryan for that. No, Ryan just said his opinion everybody else has got their own fucking mouth that man don't control anybody and you can't blame exactly. charlie d for something i fucking say because charlie said hey look at that shit over there uncle will that shit looks weird after that whatever comes out of my mouth is on me it ain't on charlie d you understand what i'm saying that shit kind of fucking yeah. pissed me too. well everybody's got a right their opinion just some of us are more uh, has a more professional opinion because we had to do investigations again. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. Hang on. 
uh, the person always got to involve herself in Jason. You know? You you start yeah. to uh, Charlie. Sorry. I need to, I said, I need uh, to, you hear me better? Yeah, what do you use? Are you hear you me on better now? Yeah, are you on the internet at the house or I'm phone server? On my phone. I just, if I move just a little or something and it, it's at and But anyways, you hear me better? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, see, of all my career, the guilty person always would put uh, their cells in the investigation. Yeah, to try to figure out what was going on. You're exactly right. To learn yep. and see what what we knew or right. or whatever. Yep. Or act like they was helping so as it diverts the attention away from them. But yep. in turn, it always gave them attention in our eyes. Right, yeah. It, it, it puts them in suspicion. Hey, and you know what, Charlie? I learned that very early on. I watched the house fire where this lady got burned up and the son of a bitch that yep. burnt at the fucking fire was standing next to me on the sidewalk watching this shit. Wow. Yep. yep. And I didn't even know it. I was too young for what was going on, but I was probably about nine or 10 years old and he was standing right there yeah. talking, man. And he was a young kid too. He's 14 or 15 years old, but it took the cops yep. a few days to figure out what was going on. Him and the boy that lived there had gotten a fight and uh, the, the the boy's mama that he killed, that boy had beat him up. And that's how he was trying to kill all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. and the son wasn't even home. It was just the mom and the dad. And the dad was hysterical. I'll never forget that, dude. That dude was screaming at the top of his lungs, man. The dad. Yeah. Yeah, that was horrifying because his wife burning up in the house and this fucking kid is standing next to me, talking to me. Yeah. And I seen it on the news about a week later or so when they figured it out. That in, uh, hey, that was in fucking Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. I didn't live but, there. You know, and that, like, about a year. I mean, all of us that was on the panel over there, like every one of us had a different opinion. Like Fusion, he likes anime, and that's her his friend. But me, I'm always about the kids, right? right? And fuck grown ups when it, you know. And oh, yeah. that I had to base my stuff on what I've learned over my years. Yeah, yeah. And I I remember anime being in a damn kayak. Whether the video's still up or not, if anybody was paying attention, no, I ain't lying. Yeah, no, and uh, my friend that, that has the uh, the uh, black whatever news, I can't remember his damn name, but he's my friend. Anyway, he he had showed uh, back when before it went to Dolly, whatever, when it was Jim Nam. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. All right. Well, he was on his show. He showed he showed him the satellite footage the day before where the car was. Right. And so I said, I I, I tried to go to him and find out if, if that damn kayak was there whenever his picture took, because that would that would pride her. Oh yeah, I'm but he used... said no. So she got You're lucky. Right. But I remember that kayak, huh? You, you roboting again, Charlie? But yeah, no, I remember you saying that. Sorry. And I, hey, and like that live she done, it had that arrow in the sand, and you could see that clear as day. That arrow pointing them for yeah. her to go out. That shit was crazy. That yeah. whole deal was, crazy, man. Yeah. So maybe, the, like maybe I, the I, sheriff I had something like to do with it, and he's making her look guilty. Well, here's my you know thing, it. right? Here's my thing. Now it goes back to the corner shit. If he I drew the arrow and told her where to go, then it might be the sheriff that did it. Well, well he, the sheriff uh, at one point was under investigation 
uh, for sexual misconduct with a minor that he supposedly impregnated. Yes, that's what I'm saying. There's See, a bunch. Of sex uh, he he might have been setting Zenime up, the sheriff. Well, here's what I know. So I think we just solved the case if he drew the arrow. Well, we'll never know. We'll never know because she won't tell us. Who? It's anime. She tried to act like that shit wasn't existing. And you can clearly go back and watch the video. There's a fucking arrow on the ground. That shit just didn't happen. It didn't draw itself. Yeah. And fucking and it she, was, she was in the boat the day before before they act like they found the car. Yep. That shit's crazy, man. And she came uh, there, bro. And it was okay for her to be talking about the case or whatever, but just the, every, everywhere where she went, was some kind of prominent YouTube channel and had some kind of platform of a thousand or more that would see her yeah. that was used. And it was weird. Nobody else could get up on them panels. And she ended up in all of them. Yeah. I mean, come on now. How, how was she a friend of the sheriff if she lived over by New York? I don't know. But she's got a picture with that lady that was doing the investigation. Ryan showed that. That's her. And that dude, Jeff, yeah. that hates Ryan so bad, even admitted, okay, well, you got a picture of her with her. She was just down there at search. That ain't no fucking search. That's like a, the police ain't even in uniform, fucking like a private yeah. picture. You That's know what I mean? Like with your buddy. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yeah, that's some bullshit is what it is. But, and I'm going to tell you right now, they... That's why them other cops. Whoever drew the arrow is the one that did it. Yeah. You know but it? That's why cops, hey, that's why them other cops have gotten charged with sexual misconduct. That's why they felt okay to do it because all of them had been doing that shit. Yep. Fucking bastards. I'm going to tell you right now. He's friends Some with the sheriff. The sheriff gave her the arrow to do it. To get out you there. Like Was she getting evidence? Was she stealing evidence from it? I don't know what she was doing, but it was weird. Well, the sheriff. If I if I remember right too, the sheriff that or the the one that was sheriff before Wu took over was also under investigation for some kind of sexual misconduct as well. Yeah, they got a whole fucking police force of child molesters. What they mm -hmm. got? Hey, and that would explain why they let them kids go over there and drink all the way. Mm, I don't. Yep. Shady J, I don't know if she did uh, if she ever did work at NASA. I think that's some bullshit. She, I think I never really seen no proof of it. I think that was just a cover story. But, you know, there's people that work at NASA that ain't rocket engineers and shit like that, too. You know what I mean? There's, trust me, rocket yeah, engineers. Yeah, I had an aunt. I had an aunt that worked there. Yeah. They're over there in Alabama. Huntsville. Yeah. But that ain't, they tried to act like that was something special that she worked there. That ain't nothing special. Just because yeah. you. I, My you, aunt wasn't an astronaut. She, I think she just, like, worked there like a secretary. Right. Well, some of them do different jobs. You know what I mean? The people that do the maintenance yeah. there ain't fucking astronauts. Yeah, people sweep or anything. Yeah. yeah. Wash windows, whatever. Take out the trash. Now, you, you yeah. can't be a convicted felon and do it. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Here's what, and I ain't saying she is, but, you know, there's a lot of corrupt people that come from Ukraine because that's what they're used to living by. They live a different oh, yeah. life than we live over here. They got different morals and different standards. A lot of them people over there are, are like a type of mafia type shit. And there's so much scamming and shit that goes on over in Ukraine that it ain't even funny. So when people were saying that she was a soldier and all, it's like, not saying that she, that she was a bad person, but you can't just look at somebody and just throw an opinion out that they're good because they're in the military. She used that military to her benefit. Go look. She ain't really served nothing that was dangerous. Everything she done was behind the wire, safe shit. You know what I mean? It was for her benefit, for schooling and to get her life farther ahead. It wasn't to protect the United States citizens. That shit pisses me off. Like I said the other day, 
I got people that's in the ground, man, from World War II and everything else that died fighting for this fucking place. They didn't just serve a cush job. I see I see why church has got a thing for Zenime, though. Yeah. If she didn't do it, she knows who the fuck did. Uh, or she, she knows she more. There was an arrow on the ground. Fighting. Somebody put it there. Yeah, she knows she more is. than what she was supposed to know. Yep. That's the feeling I always got, too. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's funny is, like, people that go after church because of all those. It's, it's like the man's putting out his opinion. And then, you know, morning, Justice. the supporters, we all get attacked because, you know, if we even agree with them, it's like, you know, not everything we agree with church on. Like, I didn't agree with him saying that she didn't exist. I, that's his opinion. Well, he did that for a reason. People don't understand. Oh, I know. He said that to try to get whoever done it to prove that she did. You understand what I'm saying? Because oh, I know. Some killers yeah. want to want to boast about what they done, just like with that Idaho bullshit. And uh, that son of a bitch got caught by getting on YouTube. Did you know that? Yep. He didn't. Yeah. Sure. That's how he got caught. He got on here. Well, Posting about what he done, he had too much information about shit he shouldn't have known. Yeah. Well, it's like the whole light bulb thing. Like that you know? about it. It's like people didn't realize Church was trolling with that. He was trolling, and he was also telling people and teaching a lesson of don't believe everything that you're told or see. Right. Look, look for yourself for it. Look, you know, don't just believe it because I say it or this person says it. Go find out for yourself. Yeah. Hey, and that, you know what, uh, Crossroads, and that brings me to another point, too. Everybody that started messing with other people and shit necessarily wasn't an upchurch fan. But they damn sure got blamed for being, you know, Ryan got blamed for them going and doing shit. Some of the nasty oh, yeah. stuff. And you yeah. can't that's, that. that's That's what I was trying to tell, church. I said, sometimes there's crazy motherfuckers that that takes you the wrong way and they'll go and act on it. That's why you got to be more careful when you're kind of in our position. I mean, he's a lot more positioned than I am, but like with my past, see, I had, I had to be more careful with my words because they can sue the shit out of me. Right. Cause it's but, more of a professional opinion, you know, but here's the thing though, Charlie, he's not responsible for everybody, buddy. And you can't no. make responsible just because he's a singer. You know what I mean? And people yeah, choose. But look, to... look how their parents, their parents took him as the responsible one and sued him. No, they they tried to sue him, but I already yeah. knew that shit was going through. PBR pumped that shit up, bro. PBR gassed a little lot of that shit. Oh yeah. yeah. He costed them people a lot of money that they shouldn't have had to spend believe on that they had some kind of case that, you know he, mm -hmm. i hold him solely responsible for that shit they already suffered enough by losing her granddaughter and then come to find out he even got caught with a goober in his mouth at the fucking little state park well, that's why he thinks well, like that. it's because he's that way and that's what yeah, i was trying yeah. to say back then <laughs> Bro, what bothered me so much is that Church, I mean, Ryan put up 200 grand to help find that girl. Yeah, I know. And they try everybody to... discounts that. Nobody even thinks about that. Well, they say, oh, because he's rich. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you got a million dollars and you put up 20% of it, guess what? You're not a millionaire anymore. $20, yep. $10. If you got $10 to get through the week and you spend two of it, you 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 thinking about you how to help. Not a $10 air no more, huh? <laughs> I spend more on that going to work. No, but what I'm what I'm saying is, is they just tried to dismiss that like it wasn't shit. Two hundred thousand yeah. dollars a lot to anybody. That could make or break a businessman. Two hundred thousand dollars could either make or break somebody. Oh yeah. But didn't didn't uh, I ain't trying to get in church's business, but didn't wasn't supposed to be six million dollars or something come up gone out of out of houses. Bro, there ain't no fucking. I felt 
so sad for Ain't him. Ain't no telling. That shit hurt my fucking heart, dude. And anybody yeah, did. problems with their parents felt that. But it, it I yep. mean, it might have been like she might have been looking out for him. Hell, we know, we don't know. Oh yeah, she's but, looking, signing off houses to motherfuckers he don't even know. It sounds good. Yeah, talk. well, I didn't know about him signing them off. I thought he just, she just let him live in them. Oh no, no, she even admitted to it that. Yeah. Uh, she signed it back over to him because uh because she was scared. You fucking right. She was scared. She was involved with that shit with her taking that shit. And not only that, dude, they spent so much of his money carelessly. Um, that lady was getting paid from Ryan's bank account. And I ain't talking about his mama, I'm talking about the other one. And Cameron. then plus she had Patty fucking buying all kinds of shit for her to sell off on auctions on the internet. Yeah. They were buying of that shit. Doing I research. thought that Patty, Patty, and uh, her was had gone in together using their money uh, to buy the old trinkets and stuff at what, the Goodwill. What, what money? Yeah. The the yeah. trinket, the Goodwill jewelry and stuff. Yeah, where were they getting the money at though, Charlie? They was taking Ryan's money and doing it. His mama well, did. I didn't, I didn't right know. Out. I just thought she had money and Tamara had money. No. Nah. Yeah, they did. They had Ryan's money. <laughs> and lots I of guess it. they had a pocket full in, didn't it? <laughs> oh, more than a pocket full. Why do you think that Patty went crazy calling her all kinds of fucking names and all that shit? You don't remember all that? They took that uh, video pretty quick because of the lawsuit that Ryan brought against his mom and yeah. Tam, she needed Tam to support her story in court, so she retracted all that shit, but let me tell you something. An angry person starts shouting shit at you. You better believe them. They don't tell you, but you better believe what they're telling you about yourself. That's how they feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, it, it broke my heart. With all, somebody, you know, seeing Patty doing somebody all that screaming or whatever, usually they're guilty. It's called an overly defensive. Exactly, Miss Savannah. Read that comment right there. She knows. Yeah, she didn't pay nothing. Nah. Yeah, I heard she didn't pay the taxes, but she didn't, she didn't pay the bills, too. Oh, my, yeah. It's crazy. My mom's name is Patty as well, and those two are very much alike. Yeah, so anybody huh. had problems with their parents, that shit resonated with them. Dude, that fucking broke my heart to see that that young man up leaning up against that wall talking that. Because you could yeah. tell that shit was heartfelt. And then everybody tried to say he was fucking on drugs and all that. Hell no, he wasn't. That motherfucker had probably had him a couple beers, smoked him a joint, and was fucking heartbroken, dude. Yep. I at first I figured that uh, feel the pain. that Ryan and Patty was uh, trapping the goober head there it, because he said something about uh, messing with her daughter, you know, bro, underage daughter. Anybody just the fact alone that she went and hung out with, with that nut to try to get at yeah. Ryan to told everybody everything that there was to, to know about that lady. And it was it, confusing to me. I thought I thought they was out to get him or something, but no. <laughs> I ain't well, never I, heard of them. nothing opened up to get him. No. Nah, it was like a month before everything. Oh, sorry. No, nah, that's true. Hurt Ryan. That's all that was. Yeah, and like about a month before everything came out, you know, publicly, uh, I, I kind of thought something was going on because Ryan was back at Ghost Ranch a lot. You know, the videos that he's putting out were all at Ghost Ranch, and then Patty had done a, a video talking about moving, and it just everything kind of just like. What you know, it's like what's going on? Like, this is yeah, strange. I remember she is moving moving up to Justice's well, house. Hey, it's it's like this though. Uh she should have never been involved with that dude anyway. She was trying to put that money back or in her mind is what they was doing with that flipping and reselling shit. And yeah. she caught before before she could put any of it back. But Imagine not paying taxes for fucking, you know, three or four million dollars worth of homes. And then the money that Ryan had made 
she never paid no taxes on that. So you tell me what kind of bill that was. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, and you know that wasn't cheap. No, and they was probably fixing to swoop in and seize shit. They was probably fixing to start getting like that. And that right there put pressure on you too. People don't even realize that. And that dude did really, really good to get his shit back together. And he lost yeah. his mom out of the deal. He lost well, his mom. Shout out, to, shout out to Brandon for looking over the books and catching that yep. shit. Yeah, and that's why she was trying to get everybody to separate Brandon from Ryan. It's like, we can't do that. That ain't on us. That way of thinking alone made me go, what the fuck is wrong with this lady? She, yeah. yeah. And if you notice, when me and Isaac did that live, they had a, her and Johnny had a live schedule together. And after me and Isaac did that live and I said what I said, that live didn't you never get played and you ain't seen her back on his channel since. You know? Yeah. What was it? Hell, the, she uh, had me on some kind of damn hit list. Do you see that? Yeah. Until my lawyer sent her a, a cease and desist to get my damn name and all the other people's names off her because we wasn't the ones that doing that. I'd get on somebody's ass for threatening her. Ain't nobody threatening that lady, dude. That was all. Yeah. Just like with the fucking stockings anime and her mom and all that. Where's the proof of that? Uh, they put everything else out they had. Why wouldn't they put that out? That looked worse than anything. Yeah. It was made up bullshit. That's all it was. She was it's like she was trying to she was trying to control Ryan. And that's what she yeah. and that whole time was controlling that young man. Well it's like when everything happened with Ripta and Felicia, it's like I didn't believe what was being said because I knew there had to have been more to it because I was over in Ripta's on one of his live streams and Patty comes in just swinging at his neck. Yeah, that was all. It's her. like, what in the world? That's just, why would you be coming at him like that for the story that was told? Yeah, that was all. Her. Like, I'm going to tell yeah. you, to that young man, uh, business adventures and everything else. People don't, people don't realize the money that that lady, uh, costed Ryan. They, she really, people really don't. If they really sat and broke it down on paper, it, it would make you look at her different, I promise you. Ryan, and, I think, would be a lot bigger right now, too, if yep. that, all that hadn't yeah, occurred. Yeah. Hey, he's still, he's still A1 in my book, dude. You don't oh, see yeah. artists doing what he's done, man. Letting everybody it, be part of it and all that shit and him like communicating with everybody and stuff like that they don't famous people don't do that shit Ryan's on no. but and that you know and they honestly you, they, without they, Ryan and his music I mean I wouldn't have met my family that I have here I wouldn't have met anybody out here yeah hey you know? check this out bro check this out so he uh dog damn I just forgot why I was fixing the site. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that all the time. Well he said he said if it wasn't for him like uh helping him and everything and he wouldn't have what met your wife. Oh yeah. Well no, I wouldn't have met my brothers out here, you know, Dan Armstrong and Jacksonville Joe. Yeah, I wouldn't have met anybody. Hey. You know? Do, do Ryan's me, music brought all of us together. Hey, Crossroads, do me a favor. Next time you talk to Jacksonville, Joe, ask him if he ever wants to go fishing with me. Tell him if he does to holler at me because he's in Jacksonville, ain't he? Uh, he's actually yeah. in, uh, he's up in uh, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought he was in But he is, yeah, originally he is from Jacksonville. Hmm. He moved up there, what, two years ago? Or, oh, shit. Like three, four years ago now, I think. Hey, and look I at all got family. people that Ryan's put on. Oh, yeah. He's changed people's lives, man. That's a special type of person to do that shit. And, oh, that's what I was trying to say. They use the, the love that people have for Ryan against everybody to try to yep. get Because people were, they knew better. You know what I mean? They were just speaking out against it. And, uh, 
it that shit was crazy, man. To even do that shit, you know. Once I figured that's what was going on, once I figured that part of it, I quit saying anything about it. Yeah. yeah. I Shut never up. I never did speak on any of that publicly or anything just because you know it's well, it, nobody not my bit. I know right. Ryan puts it out there and he doesn't, you know, that's why he puts it out there. And he's like, if I put it out, it's, you know, people can do whatever. They can react to it, whatever. But I've never felt comfortable doing that. It's like, that's still, that's still your private shit, you know, in a way. And you, you're absolutely right, dude. But I felt like somebody had to say something to resonate with somebody to make them shut the fuck up. Yeah. Cause they I do were, agree. That fucking kid, and all he did was try to take care of his fucking family. Bottom line, period. Yep. No matter how much stress he was under and how much they argued or whatever, that's normal. But that shit that she was doing wasn't fucking normal, and it, and I never will agree with it. No. That's, you know, that's the part that sucks. It's usually, it's usually blood that fucks you. Yeah first especially well, when it comes to it money it caused me to think back to the bus driver that they got fired that that she was sleeping with in there like he had just yep. went in there while she was asleep made me wonder if she wouldn't had uh was part of it you know willingly and this they got caught and she played like she was asleep <laughs> oh uh, yeah Yeah, this she is. Yep. Yep. And you, you know what? remember that? Hey. Yeah. She could have, I guarantee you, she could have talked to Ryan and, and, like, instead of just taking the chunks of money that she wanted, she could have talked to that dude and been like, hey, look, let's buy this right here and let me rent it out and we'll make a side income. But she wasn't handling yeah. the business close to, so. Yeah. And yeah, well, Brian, the tax, Brian, the tax from what shit, I've seen, you know. Yeah, and from what I've seen and know of him, he would have had no problem doing something like that either, though. No. Nah, no, nah, he's always helped everybody, dude. He's mm -hmm. a ass fucking heart, and all they did was make him and make him into a, a paranoid person about people, which he needs yep. because he's seen what happened to help his own blood to do it. Yeah. And just like his pops getting on there. Dude, you would you would shit if you seen some of the messages his dad sent me. Dude, that that blew my mind. Because I mean, all this time and we've never seen his dad, never, you know, yeah, nothing. And then all of a sudden he pops up during all this and starts trashing them and it's like, what the fuck? Because they're all in it together. The mother in law was or the that mom was the fucking realtor. They were all skipping. What? Really? Yeah. Yes, oh, I didn't his know daddy's that. wife. Yes, his daddy's wife is the fucking realtor. Wow. Oh, damn. No wonder That's he is hurt. Fuck. Yeah, and see, well, they they kept thinking Ryan was going to lose everything, so they were getting what the fuck they could get. That's what it boils yeah. down. They wasn't worried about that young man. They was worried about what the fuck they could get. Yeah. Yep. That's why it looked. I don't under why, why did they think that he's going to lose everything? That's what's crazy to me. Because our artists usually they don't didn't pay the taxes. That long. Artists usually don't last at a high pace, high momentum, but for so many years and then they're done. It's just the way. They, and they're not done, but and they'll perform, but they won't draw and pull the money that they, they did in the beginning. You understand? Yeah. And so that's why they was thinking, okay, he's coming to the end of his time. We need to get what the fuck we can get. And and I think that then once Patty had started taking the money, she had taken so much of it that she felt so fucking guilty. And she was trying to figure out a way to repay it. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. Buy property and then turn around and sell it and put the money back. That's why she was like, I was doing it to protect him. No, you was doing it to keep him getting caught. Then the dad and them got in there on it because they was getting a cut of the money. Mm 
That's crazy. It's the only thing that makes sense, bro. Why not? Yeah, why? it does. For nothing. Dude, I just, I don't understand people, no. man. I really don't. So, Tamara, she didn't want no conspiracy to commit whatever. Right. So, Frost. she gave all the shit back. Yeah, because who signs the house right back over? Because I'm going to tell you right now, she didn't have to sign that place right back over. She could have kept that shit and fought it in court. Yeah. But she, yeah. she was scared of jail. What's up, little Jeff? She knew, she knew it was wrong. Yeah, she was scared, bro, because she was part of it. Yeah. They done took the man's ID and some fucking truck. And How did they get his driver's license? A answer yourself that. How would Tamara be able to get his driver's license for Nick and him to go sell that truck? Oh. Yeah, Is that what he was way. talking about? They had sold a truck that, that belonged to him? It was in his name. I think he gave them the truck or whatever, but they never signed it, all the shit over. And then they found his fucking driver's license. And once somebody done that, they was worried about him taking the truck back from them. So instead of yeah. instead of that, they just went and sold it. It uh, don't rocket scientists figure out what was going on. They scammed the shit out of that young man. Yeah. So I ain't heard nothing else about the case. Have y'all? Uh -uh. No. Damn, I haven't heard nothing for a while on it. You hear me? That was crazy yeah. shit. Y'all can't see them now. The law just passed me. No. But I got what all these, you? I got all these lights on in the boat so you can see me. Yeah. I got the light on and then I got all these little lights sitting there. You you can damn sure see me. You ain't noticed you can see me a lot better tonight than you could the other night? Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Will Is got it cold stuff. or something? Huh? Are you cold? No. Nah. No, nah, I just got this jacket on to keep the dew off of me because I'm getting over being sick. Oh. Uh. Oh, they asked him for the truck, but they wasn't telling him they was trading it for a Mustang. Yeah. They just shady-ass people, man. They seen him well, what about the car? What about the car that was there and they called a church and asked him about the car? Which one are you talking about? The one he beat one killed out of? They all moved and left the car somewhere and it was in his name. A Mustang or something. Oh, I don't know about that. Are or some kind of car that he didn't even buy or something. Oh, there's man, there's been all kinds of shit that just come up missing from up there that they sold and when he'd go to asking about it oh you take that away you don't remember he fucking remembers he just let the shit go because it, he just was let, in disbelief that they done that shit to him they yeah. get the shit out of him dude and it's fucking sad Well, I could tell his yeah, performance really wasn't like it used to be when he was doing his, I guess he's still doing his tour, Damn. but the energy wasn't there like it like it used to be, like he's depressed, kind of. Nah, to me, I, I mean, going through for me being a fan, listen, I'm sorry. He's going through a transition in life. That's just life, bro. He's not a kid anymore. He's a young man, and he sees yeah. now. Yeah. I'm he, just, you, you know, heard old, I'm really, you heard old so Jason Ford had a heart attack, didn't you? Who? Colt, Colt Ford. Colt Ford, Jason Ford, yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, he's in the yeah. hospital right now. Damn. Yeah. Had a bad heart attack last night after a show in Arizona. Damn. Yeah. Oh, he's Definitely not. Prayers out to him. He's not oh. in the tape anyway. Good morning there, Bam. How you doing? Morning, Bambi. He's one of the first country rap people that, that I started listening to. That's what brought me into the country rap. Yeah. You know, Jason Aldean's uh, Dirt Road yeah. Anthem cover. Jason Aldean, and then Dirt that Road got Anthem. Me in. And I, I was got curious about that and stumbled upon more and more. And I was like, oh, shit, here we go. 
Hey, Miss Savannah, that's what I was telling him in my live the other day because let me tell you something. He's excited yeah. for the baby to come, but there's going to be a point in time when he's sitting there watching that young and play around in the floor and all, and it's really going to hit him. You know what I mean? It sank in that he's a daddy, and he's oh, going to love be a good daddy. Oh, yeah. yeah he's going to be a good love. daddy. But I'm telling you, people go through a change, and we all know it. We're all parents. Everyone was oh, yeah. knows it. Yeah. You're sitting around looking at that young and then and it really sinks in like, oh shit, that's I'm responsible for creating it. It's just and it's, it's awesome feeling. It is. It's so crazy because hey. one minute you you know you, you know you have a kid coming, you, you know, your old lady's in the back, giving birth, you know, you're there, and you see him for the first time, it's like instantly something changes. Yeah, but then hey, even after that though, dude, after, after, uh, even that you're you're gonna love them unconditionally right then. But I'm I'm saying your your mind goes through a change, and there's no telling at what point it's gonna happen for him. Me, it was about six months after my first one was born. About six months after he was born, I was sitting there watching him play, and I just felt this overwhelming feeling came over me, man. It was almost a sad emotion, kind of too. You know what I mean? But it, a happy yeah. sad. You understand what I'm saying? I knew yeah. right then that that I was going through something. It's just something that we all go through. I've talked with several people. Yep. They've all felt it. But it's a good feeling. It is. It really is. You know, my boys, they, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't even be here. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. know that for a fact. Kids change it, man. I used to be a rowdy son, bitch. I was wondering if you say something to me, you better know what you're talking about because it's fixing to be on. Not no more. I let that shit go. Well, hell, I bounced. I bounced at bars at a bar or two there before I had my kids. But after yeah. she was born, I didn't do it no more. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Things just changing, bro. That's all there is to it. It does. It's a it's a great feeling, honestly. Oh yeah, it definitely it really is. is. Damn it, it's a little chilly out here. That's just that dampness in the air, though. I don't know what the temperature is right now. It can't be too cold. Though. I think it's like thirty eight here tonight. We're checking it right now. It's fifty. Oh man, I'm above fifty. Yeah. It's <laughs> and then 7 a.m. it gets down to 49 and then it starts rising up. Hell, it's going to be 71 today. Hey, you know, well, don't be on the water Monday. Don't be on the water Monday. Not yet, Adam. Hear me? Why? Because that's going to affect oh, a lot of close. shit when that damn eclipse happens. The moon's going to be a lot closer. And and there's a bunch of planets that's closer too, so Dude, it's going to multiply the and I gravitational about, pull. That's what it does the tides. You hear me? I bought them kids some of them glasses. I forgot about that. Yeah. They're, yeah. Oh, uh, this whole the whole uh, thing is just weird. You know. They're they're the they're talking about uh, causing the new matter line to. to Crack and that's what it over in the lawn and then I definitely need to be in my boat. What happens if I need to get away? You want know I me? Mean? I'd rather be on the water than in, on the damn land if it starts having an earthquake. What the hell gonna fall on me in the I water? I don't know what kind of waves and shit it'll call. Like like a what do you call it? It might cause a what do they tsunami. call them? Tidal waves? It tsunami. I, yeah, I, tsunamis. That's when you lay down in the bottom of that boat. And hold on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that sailboat gonna ride if, itself. If you see the water going? Did you see all the water going out? Run like hell! <laughs> oh yeah. Because it'll go out first, it'll be like dry, and then you'll see all of it rise up and come back that way. 
Yeah, that's when I climb in my boat and throw everything in the cabin and close the door and pray to God it don't come through the wall. That way you don't get hit. Because that's how people get hurt on boats, man. It's the flying debris inside. It ain't the boat itself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. If it ain't strapped down, it's going to go flying. It's supposed to go... It's supposed to go right over us. There's, there already ain't no gas around here. You can't buy gas nowhere. What, what All the gas? groceries are bought up. Yeah. Wow. What? People yeah, I got off work Friday. Go put some gas in, and it wasn't none nowhere. Just had a sack on the damn thing. It says out of service. You must live in a little bitty old town. No. Well, they've been uh, they've been telling people to it's buy like up everything extra they can. Million people that came to watch the Good morning, the, uh, the eclipse. We got uh Adam. We got blue crab on the bottom. We got we're fishing with half a blue crab. We're trying to catch a big drum tonight or this morning, I should say. Good morning, Jam. No, if I wouldn't have cooked the crab. <laughs> hey, I will now. Don't get me wrong. Them them things are good. And they're all fresh too. I caught every one of them. See, that's something about oh, me. I don't yeah. eat from the bait stores and stuff. The only time I do that is like if uh, if it's just hard to get bait because they get stuff shipped in or whatever. But it's all live. But I catch all my own stuff. Oh yeah. We got like uh, yeah. crab box and crab traps. Yeah, I got a couple crab traps and I got a cast net. Like I got a, a shit ton of live bait in here right now. I got a bunch of uh, mullet in here. Hold on. Show them to you. Matter of fact, I got one of those. That's the only bad thing about this boat. It don't have a live well pump. I'm using a, one of those yeah. Mr. But it, it does have uh, a live well in it. Hell, you could put a pump, or a pump in it. Matter of fact, I got a couple that's dead or trying to die in here where I didn't have the air on. You got to keep that air on yeah. Damn. But like, I only threw the cast net twice Friday night, and I, I put most of them back. That's what you catch your mullets with. Yeah, you see all them in there. The net. Yeah. There's a shit ton of them in there, but I didn't have that air on. And some of them died. But that's all right. The crabs eat them. Soft yes, white underbelly is. just posted. <laughs> Did they? It's goddamn Uncle Will talking yeah. shit. They did. They said something about Snappy or something, part two. Who? No, I don't like what they did out of me and the girl. Slanger. Yeah. Dude, they cost that girl her life, which she didn't have much of a life anyway. But still, though, it was hers. They forced her into that conservatorship, and you know, she had a bad seizure. And they were trying to make her do that, uh, they were making her do that damn, uh, all oh, them You know, when you buy an Xbox or anything like that, that's the first thing they tell you is be careful of seizures. You can't, some people can't do that damn digital shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, the flashes. Yeah. The flashes. It'll, it'll trigger an epileptic seizure. Yeah, and that's what happened. That's what she died from. And they tried to cover that shit up. Tried to say she only had Tylenol uh, in her. And that, that wasn't true. You know, and that girl, BJ, investigates. They tried to sue her over posting that shit. Damn. Yep. I don't have a seizure, but but like if blue lights pulling me over and I'm sitting there waiting on the cop, my old legs get to shaking like I'm gonna have a seizure. <laughs> yeah, them them strobe lights get to you. Yeah, and especially these but new red ones, lights man, never they're... did do it, but the blue lights, I know I might have my ass in trouble if I find something wrong. These new LED ones, man, they got dude, they are so bright, dude, and they're blinding. 
Yeah. Um, They're blinding them is what they are. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's never a good day when you see the sex lights pull up on you. Yeah. Hey, Adam, you never know, though, dude. I've been out here and caught fish after fish, and then I've sat out here and not caught shit. So I'd rather be prepared than not have enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I say, yep. I don't, I try not to go buy, hey, you go buy a dozen muffins and they're $5 a dozen, which is not a lot, but if you go through three dozen, that's 15 bucks. Hell, that's, that's more than the gas that I'm going to use to go fishing. Yeah. Hell, I put, I, good morning, Donald. Hey, uh. I put fifteen dollars in my truck the other day and it barely moved a damn hand. I had to go on and put another twenty bucks in to make it move. Right. Hey Adam, so if you're gonna go fishing, if you're gonna go fishing, make sure you got at least like a four thousand size reel. Don't try to fish with no Zepco thirty three because if you do get a bite, you liable not to get them in. And uh try to find you some mud minnows and you hook them through the lips. What we use is, is a Carolina knucker rig, and what all that is is like a, a one-ounce weight with a hole in the middle. We let it slide the round weights. Like and a Carolina worm rig, like for uh, us bass oh, fishers. Knucker rig. I'll, I'll show one of them. But see, I use what they call a wide bend hook, a number two wide bend. It's like a self-setting hook. And you'll know. If you get a bite, you'll know it because they they try to break your pole, man. It's not like a, it's not like brim fishing. Huh. Hold on, let me show. You. So, what are you guys paying for gas out there? Uh, three thirty, I think. But you see how that oh, white hides on there? Yeah, it's yeah. Held down. And then this hook is a is what they call a wide bend hook. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but yeah, you like a catfish hook, kind of. Well, it's bent to the side a little bit. Yeah, you don't use yeah. like a circle hook. It's a live bait hook, is what it is. Mullet, you hook yeah. through the back, and mud minnows, you hook through the lips. Then mud minnows, um, they'll live a lot longer. Where a mullet, a uh, die within a minute or two if you don't have air on them. They're real weak, but the mud minnows are very hardy, and they'll last a long time. Heck yeah, Miss Savannah, I'd, I'd, I'd wear them for sure. I love baby. Yeah, I think, uh, the gas here is like four sixty a gallon right now. Oh, so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Very Donald, That's ridiculous. Donald, still in here? If you are, hit this link. I'd like to talk to you a minute. Yeah, the sad part is we got a bunch of refineries up here. Yeah, but all that gets well, shipped gas, out of state. Gas is gonna be really high by the time they bring it some more around here because everybody bought it all up. Yeah, well, a friend yeah. of mine he was telling me, well, he's over in uh, Indiana and uh, Muncie area, and they got like a hundred thousand extra people in town right now. I yeah. not uh, Adam. Listen, Adam, I'm on Instagram at um, Uncle Will1919. When you get down here, if you give me a call, I'll try to guide you the right way where you can catch something. I like this, man. I hope everybody has a good experience when they come fishing down here. That's one of the reasons why I post some of my fishing videos, just so some, some people can see it. I don't know if Donald's still yeah, here. You can't not. show a landmark, though. You know that now. Yeah. No, I didn't know that, dude. I just laughed when we yeah. pulled up boats was out there i was like mm. <laughs> hey and there was uh there was some uh girls over there screaming too boy they was catching a few of them and i i want people to catch fish man yeah but not all your fish <laughs> I, hey trust me if i really wanted to go catch one i, I know where to go but it's just i don't like taking a full boat in some of them places I'd rather stay out yeah. here and catch them in the back creeks, but I could take that sailboat, bro, 
and take it offshore right here and go post yeah. up a day or two out there on on some of them damn uh artificial reefs and them them ships that they've sank them structures and tear their ass yeah. up i just don't well, if i come down here that's what we had to do yeah for sure a hey, spider wire dude or that j braid try not to fish with monofilament line you want something that's gonna hold them you know i mean a lot of people unless you know how to tie all them fancy ass knots but i don't i, just I like it i like that braided line that real but i use, real streaky line yep i use a, a 20 from a 20 pound to a 60 pound yeah it just depends on what i'm fishing for well, I, I appreciate that, Mr. Van. I have to try to figure out how to get them from you. Or you can send them to my PO box, but you're close enough that we could probably meet one day. Savannah's not that far. Uh, I'm hoping to get out there for that South Carolina show. Yeah. When's he supposed to be coming to South Carolina? Uh... I think, well, they, they got that big show, or I think it's North Carolina. I think it's North Carolina, actually. But well, it's, uh, is he coming fourth, through Arkansas? Yeah, next and, week is Tampa and uh, Fort Myers. And, dude, I ain't been to a concert in so long. Not no real concert. We went and seen Poison, but that really wasn't a concert. I really wasn't into it. I just went because the old lady wanted to go. Good morning, Copper Top. Yeah, it's slow right now. I think I usually when like the fishing I'm doing really is best at high tide, and it's uh the tide still coming in. You catch it at slack tide. That'd be that'd be the best time. Hey Donald, hit that yeah. link. The uh, is I ain't seen him. Fourth of July show is uh in and out. On the fourth is Outlaw Nation. The fifth is church, broadnecks, and a bunch of other people. And then the sixth Are is Calhoun, uh, Demon Jones, and a bunch of other guys. Well, you seen what broadnecks said, didn't you? Huh? Go watch. Go watch the last video I posted. Ah, I like right. the broadneck. I do too. That's yeah. cool. John. John. John is. Cool motherfucker. Hey, Broadnex is a real motherfucker, dude. Yeah, he is. You I got a lot of respect for that dude, that man. And he's he's definitely in my top five too, as far as rappers. That dude can spit. Got the energy too for his age. <laughs> he's the OG baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, and you know, people like that, you have to appreciate, you know what I mean? Because he, he does what he does for the art. It ain't about the money for him. He does his music from the heart. He got some good shit too, man. It's about, yeah, about like Anthony Oliver. Anthony yeah. Oliver is like that. Hey, see, I'd never heard of Brian Nix until Ryan posted it. And that's why I was saying he's helped a lot of people do it. Oh, he has. You know, and it's crazy because, you know, Adam and Broadnecks had done so much together. I mean, Broadnecks was signed to Adam at one point. But yet, everybody was waiting for that Broadnecks in church and it never developed. And it's like, well, what the fuck's going on with this? Why is Broadnecks in church not doing something? And all the stuff comes out and it's like, oh, okay, well, now it makes sense. Yeah, see, I didn't even know who Broadnecks was. I, I found Broadnecks through Ryan. Oh, yeah? And that's what I was saying. Ryan's changed a lot of people's lives. Ryan's put a lot of people in positions, dude. And uh, that's why he's he's a legend, man. Yep. Well, and see, and that's what's funny. It's like, even the haters, they don't get it. It's like, you realize you have a channel because of him. Yeah, exactly. He has made your channel. Exactly. He's like, made 
dude he shared my channel and i went from having like a hundred subscriber to what i got now yeah hey, got Ryan's. eleven thousand subscribers right now you know that's How that's much? why so many people respect him and show him the love that they do is because he's hey, helped so many let's face it i ain't never put out no real content you know what i mean i really haven't I'm just talking and bullshitting like we're on the phone. Now, I helped a bunch of people because of Ryan. Ryan put me in a position to help a bunch of people, and that's one of the reasons why I did it. It's because I had everybody's attention right, right then at that time. And uh, to me, man. You were people, helping homes. Yeah. And, hey, they helped me do that. I couldn't afford to have done that without everybody, dude. And then I had some yeah, idiots yeah. accusing me going to Taco Bell spending twenty dollars on a hundred burritos and feeding the homeless. I'm like, you stupid fuck! You can't buy twenty burritos at Taco Bell for a hundred uh, for or a hundred tacos from Taco Bell for twenty bucks, you dumbass. That shit no. costs money. It it costs forty bucks, damn near it, for a box of tacos. Yeah. Yeah. That shit's high. You hear me, Charlie? We fed hundreds of people, dog. What's that? We fed I hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. Hey, and it I felt know you good. Did. I, was, I, remember, I remember when you know subscribers. Hey, it felt it felt good to do it too, right? I, but that, if it wasn't for Ryan, I wouldn't have been able to do that. That was an awesome experience, man. I give people clothes. Uh, yeah. People socks um blankets shirts you know what i mean hygiene products yeah. and then the next thing you know i got caught up with that dumbass i wasn't really thinking about what i was doing and it put a stop to all that shit they ruined all that but that's what they were trying to do yeah which is okay so, they have to people get to jealous you. when they see you moving forward oh yeah But you know what, though? It's not. It, hey, I've had people that were inspired to do that, help people in their community. And even though that my dumb ass got caught up, not, you know what I mean, in my emotions, fucking trying to defend myself when I didn't have to, I learned yeah. a lesson. And maybe somebody got inspired to do it. And got, you know what I mean, that got to help somebody that really needed it. Hell, we, we gave a homeless dude a sailboat. Hey, we gave somebody a place yeah. to live. That don't happen. And every. you gave somebody a camper too, didn't you? Yeah, in Kentucky. And they yeah. came and moved it from Jacksonville to Kentucky. And all yeah. that was out of, because of fucking Ryan, dude. Yeah. We had a platform and we used it. Let me tell you something. His name was Mr. Larry. And uh, Chevy Shaker run into these people. And this guy, I guess, got his house flooded out and washed away or whatever during the floods. And he was a retired truck driver and didn't have no money or no way to go. And he had property. And uh, because everybody was viewing me, we had the platform to do it. And we did it. And, dude, that's I don't somebody think that's very... I don't think it's very nice, Boone County uh, finest there. What happened? Uh, just Boone County's finest said you should have kept some for yourself for personal hygiene. Hmm. Oh, that's one of That's all right. I'll let your mama yeah. wash. I, I, would, I would say, if you would, uh, be respectful or somebody will start deleting you. Stuff we believe in free speech, but we ain't gonna tolerate no damn Charlie, bullshit. Is, I don't even pay attention to that anymore, man. That just shows their ignorance. So listen, <laughs> I'm gonna get wow. underneath my nuts, then I'll have all the hygiene I need. How about that? <laughs> See, you're dumbass. Sit there and type it. I can just tell you what I want to say. Nobody's bragging. We're saying without. Uh, Ryan's uh, 
help, he wouldn't have been able to help. That was me had done it. So you need to pay that attention. Do what? That was the people that done it. Yeah. You know who that is. You hear me? You know who that is, Charlie. Yeah, I know. They can't stand it. Okay. Hey, hey, listen, just because... Hell, I'm you, on Fusion's channel. If you know who I am, hell, it's, it's all right if people have difference of opinions. Listen, hey, he, this person here is just mad because they had to suck dick for $5 a piece, and they worried about somebody else giving concert tickets for blow <laughs> That's who that is. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. You not bother me, homie. Yeah. You not bother me. Deal with that hip C you got, motherfucker. How about that? <laughs> I'll go kill in your arm. Because we know that's what you're going to do. They're going to kill me if they give right, me that. Then come home with a pair of fucking Jordans. Give me a break. You don't have to use foul language to be disrespectful, though, dude. Some of us just talk that way. Yeah. Don't even pay no attention to him no more. <laughs> oh, he's uh, he gets mad because nobody ever really paid him no attention in their young is a young and so they don't know how to act around people. But anyway, that shit wouldn't anyway. happen if for Ryan. So. Yeah. They can hate on the man all they want to. He's got good intentions and a good heart. And when I had posted some of those videos, he had asked me what he could do to help. And I was like, bro, you, you done help me. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't have to help me no more. You done done it. All right. All right, Boom County. Okay. We'll go. How about that? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think this is close, man. It's doing something in everybody's brains. Yeah. Now that's I dude, it doesn't take rock science to figure out who that is. Uh you probably have to go get you some sleep, man, and figure out how to file a for a job interview and uh actually keep it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of worrying yeah. about it. I don't even fuck with you, dude. I think you're being a on the, low life piece of shit that there is out there. Talking being on the couch, you know, not moving. Yeah. Puts a weight on you real quick too. So I want to get up and get moving. I go I guarantee if you go look at that account, it's either just created or been around for six months. I've seen it a time or two. I've seen it a time or two. Yeah, well it's probably an alt account though, Bob. When you don't even, and when you don't even, uh, just like the last one when we was talking last weekend, they come in there talking that shit. Never seen that account a day in my life. Yeah. And I know who pretty much who hangs out with us, right? There's people in here that hang out with us, and you recognize them when they come in. And I appreciate them, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you, Kentucky. Yeah. Well, you my dude too, man. Hey, but like back to the story. Imagine sitting in your cabin, dude, and then the next thing you know, water's up to your ankles. You don't, you ain't prepared for that. And then the next thing you know, everything you got is destroyed. You don't know where you're going to lay your head at night. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, I think we got us one, fellas. <laughs> oh, he broke me the fuck off. Oh. The big one. Yeah. That's all right. I'm fishing over these rocks. And, uh, damn, that was spider wire, too, bro. I should have let him pick it up and get out of there, but I didn't. I tried to set the hook too hard. That's all right. You know what that means, though, don't you, Charlie? That means that What's you're that? You got to get reset up again. Yeah. You remember that happened? Yeah, to one. Happened? over and over again until I finally got his ass. We fixing to get one. 
but just imagine though not knowing where you're gonna be able to lay your head then and and then somewhere out of nowhere somebody helps you like that that's that's what's yeah. up hey and that was the people that done that that wasn't me yeah that was not me all i did was supply the camper that was it yeah hey and that thing ran charlie it actually was in good shape for the year it was yeah. it was 77 Chevrolet. i remember and uh but what happened a lot of floods happened up there didn't they yeah man and uh, a lot of people a lot of people them. lost their house yeah. up there yeah. Hey, hey, people's homes was floating down the highway. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. shot Brett, man. Brett's the one that made all that shit people aware of it. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. But I don't watch the news and stuff a lot. You know what I mean? I haven't uh, turned my TV on in over a year. Everything I watch is on here. On here. Yeah, well, yeah. now I watch stuff like the History Channel and shit like that, but the news is just so damn depressing. Yeah. yeah. Well, they twist everything and don't tell you the truth. Yeah, and then and then you hear several different versions of it, and it leaves you wondering what the hell's really going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like I posted a deal where Marjorie Taylor Greene was up in the roof of of uh, the house because uh, all of them now people. It broke in not on the sixth yet. This here was just a little while back. All the people had broke in. Uh, the people that was for uh, Pakistan or Palestine, right. you know, the war they have over Israel and Palestine. Yeah, uh, where yeah, all them people had went in there and uh, like they was fighting the cops, painting on the walls and shit. And she was up there and po and had filming it live. And and I posted on my facebook channel and they took it down and said it was misinformation. Uh, false information but it wasn't it was the damn senator yeah. up there filming it they just didn't want it to get out yeah that's crazy. So i sent a couple of uh biden memes through you know private messenger on facebook they removed it and gave me a warning or whatnot for uh nudity and pornographic material through a private chat i'm like for one this is a private chat and you guys are removing things i'm posting to a private chat like this is not fucking acceptable yo see i didn't put nothing on there that was fake but they said it was fact checked and it was false yeah and it was live he was live filming it. She was saying, "See, the news ain't even here reporting on it and all this." Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I one yeah, of the they, memes was they actually look um, at all the other people that they let in there. Exactly. One of the memes I posted was um, is a picture of Trump and then Joe Biden each on a gas pump button, and with the price above it. And then it said something like, you know, when, you know, what time was better or whatnot or something like that. It wasn't even, wasn't even a real good meme, but. I, I can't yeah. hear you. Adam, you see that? Let me see. Away from okay, yeah. You see how that hook in? It's a big Yeah. yeah. Wide bend. Fishing out there, you don't have to worry about catching on a stump, huh? Uh, you don't have to catch. You don't have to worry about catching on a stump or something out there. Oh no, no, no! Bridge this thing now. I'm fishing on the rocks. That's one of the reasons why I just got broke off. And I should have let the fish take it, pick it up, pull it out, but I didn't. You you really shouldn't catch out here because it gets hung up in the rocks and all. But I'm stupid, and I do it anyway. Because if they'll pick it up, and I'm not even gonna move it. They actually pick it up next time. That's that's what I did last weekend. I, I got too excited. It was the first bite this yeah. morning. 
We're going to get us a monster by the time we get done. What do you have to do out there in that type of water? Do you have to, like, let them run with it a little bit before you set your hook? Or? Yeah, let them pick it up the rocks and start running. And then once they, once they start running with it, then you know they got it up off the bottom. That's what I should have did. Uh, yeah. But if you get excited and jerk too quick, it'll... Andy, that's, it'll, that's, uh, that's my Uncle Charlie. That is the world-famous Charlie D. I'm glad to see you this morning. <laughs> Are you making fun of me, cotton candy? <laughs> Hey, a lot of people I'm from, like I'm from Arkansas. I got that, that Arkansas accent. Charlie, you had them yeah. women crazy the other day over the way you talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You you didn't hear them? They was flirting with you. I, hell, I thought I was fixing out the bay of plane ticket where one of them was at. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, they was making me blush. Charlie blushing. Yeah. Hey, they had Charlie blushing, boy. They even had April G up there. <laughs> All right, Adam. This is the mud minnow right here. Let me see if I can show it to you. This is a mud minnow. Now you hook these ones through the lips. All the vape stores are gonna have these. Now, as far as like the mullet and all, you'll have to catch them. Like I say, mullet are hard to keep alive. And mud minnows, you can about put them in a bucket of water and um, they'll live no matter what. But now a mullet, they die real quick. So a lot of them bait stores don't like to buy them because it, it's hard to keep them, you know what I mean, alive unless they're right up on the river. Yeah. Five minutes, you can put this in the water and circulate it and they'll live. But they sell those little yellow bait buckets. They're fairly cheap that you put in the water. That's the best thing you can have. That and one of the Mr. Bubbler pumps. That's the best thing you can have. Like, I got just a small bubbler pump and shit. It, it's area 20 gallons of water in there. Well, if the mullet are that big, how big are the mud minnows? Are they are they like fishing for crappie minnows, or are they real big? They get they get various sizes, but that's about the size they are, Charlie. Uh, do you ever you ever fish with goldfish, sir? You ever fish with goldfish? No, they won't live out here. Oh. Yeah, oh, they're freshwater, huh? They're freshwater fish. But now, I always heard you shouldn't fish with goldfish because if they get off, they'll breed and take over the pond or the lake dust, the area where you're at. Y'all want to see something beautiful this morning? I'm going to get this camera turned around. Now, this, this is why I'm here, dude. This is what I love. Sunrise? Yes, sir. You know it. Uh-huh. Hold on, fix the turn off. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's that is, cool. Man, it's that is beautiful. the sight I want to see right there. That is beautiful. Okay, here. I love it. I have this, this is the background from a picture that was taken here last year. Heck yeah, that's what's up. Hey, Adam, just back it up just a little bit, showing you the difference between a mullet and a mud. Out in um, those yellow, little yellow, that's something good to have. That in a five gallon bucket, and you, you fill your minnow bucket up and then put a little bit of water in a five gallon bucket, and turn it upside down. Now, I know you're what the hell you turn it upside down for, but if you'll turn that bucket upside down, you could pick your bait bucket up every so often and drain the water out of it in the five gallon bucket, and it'll help aerate the water. When yeah, get, when you get bubbles in the water, it it area. Yeah, Destin is not that far from Jacksonville. You'll end up going through Jacksonville <laughs> to get to Destin. I believe Destin's on the east coast. 
ain't Destin down by Daytona? <laughs> Daytona ain't but an hour and 15 minutes from here. Dude, it is beautiful this morning. That's beautiful shit right here. I gotta dry my hands off. I was touching that phone and it started acting crazy. That's the only bad thing about these damn iPhones, man. You get your hands wet and they, they start acting up. Oh, yeah. I asked them the other day about an iPhone 15 Pro. They told me it'd be cheaper to get one of them than do the phone I got now. Uh, the tide. I might do that. You hear me? The tide so is just... Yeah, the boat's starting to drift a little bit, which is fine. We're still in 21 foot of water. What's the temperature? Oh, it's 66 degrees, the water is. So it's dropped a, a one degree. But So like, the water fish, goes back out right now, don't it? Um, It's going to be coming back in. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't... You know what? Low tide should have been 2 o'clock. Yeah, it should be coming yeah. back in. Oh, let me cut this camera off. Let me let me look. Uh, what kind of phone you got now, Charlie? Got my good phone. Oh. Quit. I had to go back to my Motorola. I did. I tried to get where I'm on the cracks that I had in the screen. It shorted the screen out. Yeah. I've been wanting to go back to the iPhone because of doing the YouTube stuff. Yeah. Do what now? I would say, depending on the phone and the type of screen it has, you can get screens really cheap, actually. Well, it was just one of them prepaid uh, 13 8 things. I oh, used yeah. to just every year get an iPhone every time to upgrade to the new one, I'd get it. But then I started doing the Androids, the Samsung S, S series, like the Notes and all that. Yeah. But then I started doing, like, I went all the way up to the S6 and then I just started doing the prepaid things. Yeah. Kick me out. Okay. I think it did the same thing to Charlie, too. Yeah, I think it did. He'll come back. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> I'm glad you hung out for a minute, dude. I tried to go see what time the tide was, and it damn sure kicked me out. Yeah, it's good about doing that. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm, I, to be honest with you, I'm just figuring out how to use this shit. I'm, I'm slow when it comes to technology. Let me post yeah. some faces in here. He's uh, Uncle Charlie's live was still talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good old dude right there, dude. They don't get no better. He is. I like Charlie D. He's a good dude. Man. I, I thought it was hilarious last night when they're calling him my daddy. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you, uh, it takes a special person to be like him and JM, dog. Yeah. It really does. It Jam's another good dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. To dedicate the, the time and stuff that they do in their life to help the public, man. Yeah. No, it, it's especially doing uh, ambulance, you know, that's 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 Hold difficult on. work. Yeah, we hey, I lo I had another bite while I was trying to get on the internet. I looked over and the pole was bending down. They don't got my bait. Oh dang! But it means that they're coming. That's all. I'm all by myself. Heck yeah. That's a nice thing when they start stealing bait. You know they're around and they want me food. It's going a matter of time. Hey, crossroads and nobody's here yet. So once the boats start showing up, then I'll probably leave. I'd rather be out here by myself. 
that's one of the reasons why I fish that's it. That's how I am. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I fish at night, man, is because um, a lot of these people don't have boat courtesy, and they'll they'll hurt somebody. Dude, yeah. I, I literally had somebody come over my anchor while I got the yesterday while I was fishing. Oh, and, really? Yeah, they were so stupid about it. They they damn run up on uh, oyster beds in about a hundred thousand dollar boat. I was oh, like, wow. Fuck. They went right in shallow water just to be an asshole to me. That's ridiculous. Yeah. They just don't show no courtesy. Hey, and I thought it was, I was on live stream. I was like, y'all fix and run over a fucking horse bed. I got it marked with a buoy because <clears throat> if you hit that thing, dude, it'll tear the foot up on your motor. I don't want to see nobody hurt it. And no. Fish off of it all the time. So when I come in at high tide, I lose it sometimes because of where it sits. It's hard to see it underwater. And uh, I don't know. Just people don't have boat courtesy. It ain't like it used to be, man. You used to come out here and everybody was real courteous. They would slow down if they got by you or they'd go, which it doesn't matter if you're hauling ass in a boat. A lot of people think that if you're hauling ass and past somebody, you're that's not good, but I'd rather him be hauling ass and pass me than to be going like half half throttle because it's yeah like, yeah it's less of a wake on you and it only rocks you for a second. You're not pushing as much water. You're up on top. I don't I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, I grew up on the water. Right. So when you're when you're running full speed, that boat is up on top. When you're when you're running half throttle and, and pushing a wall of water, it'll shake the yep, shit. You're di displacing a lot less water when you're on top of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, people don't have any respect anymore at all. Definitely right about that, Adam. They just don't give us it. Uh, it's it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, no. hey, you know how people get hurt out here though dude that's how people get hurt oh yeah and it don't take much to get hurt on the water no you can't walk out here nope when i was a kid uh actually there's a couple incidences one was uh we're heading out to squawkson island out here and my dad brought our boat up on it was coming up on the, on the plane so the bow was up and my uncle was on his jet ski he cut across us and when he did that his motor cut out on his jet ski and he went under our boat Bam. and he got lucky he didn't you know my dad you know hit it in neutral and started bringing up the uh boat drive so luckily he didn't get hit, but yeah, it was uh scared the shit out of him. Oh yeah, it probably scared your dad too. Oh yeah. Then, uh, What'd you do, bro? I just, just my phone just blinked and I was gone. Nah, it, I, I me and you both out. Thank did you. something happen? You know how it does, huh? Yeah, it was me, Charlie. Thank God he stayed in there, and I got back on. I had to. uh Turn this camera around. Look at that. Huh? Oh, wow. That is beautiful, man. Now, if we can catch us a 20 pounder, 30 pounder, and they're starting to feed too, I see them swirling up top. But, and I'm sitting exactly where we was at the other night, Charlie. Same spot. When you caught that pretty reddish looking fish. Yeah. That water is so calm. And I couldn't figure out what the tide was. Any of y'all got up? Hey. Oh, there's Cotton. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, Miss Cotton Candy. Morning. Good morning. I thought I'd come up and say, hey, I ain't talked to you in forever. Hey, how you doing? Um, uh. I'm trying to get awake. I'm on my 
I'm talking to Uncle Will. That's my bro, man. <laughs> hey, you want uh? I got some Red Bull right here. You want to swallow it up? Oh no. I <laughs> I got how's me some coffee. I'm good. How's everything going with you? Good? Do what, Uncle Will? How's everything going with you? Good? Yeah, pretty good. You? Pretty good. Pretty good. How's the puppy? Would you hush? Would you kick him? <laughs> no, don't kick him. He heard me asking about him. Oh, shit. They're like playing. <laughs> Somebody's echoing. Uh, it it ain't us, I don't think. Yeah. Is it still echoing? I hear myself twice. Huh. I don't know. Do you have YouTube still open? Let me see if I got other it's stuff. Yeah. Go in your settings and go into settings to your audio audio and turn off. Or turn the cancellation, echo cancellation on. Who are you talking to, me, or, Charlie? Or, or cotton candy. Oh. Hold on just a second, Arkansas. Stop. <laughs> no, he's talking to me. Let's see. Man, it is, man it's, it's starting to get your light computer, up. Do you have your computer, do you have your YouTube? Open on your computer. Good morning, Jam. No, I mean, I have a channel I do my own, so I know what I'm going on. You know, I ain't a rookie. It, when you click StreamYard from the chat, it's still going to leave the YouTube tab open. Okay, I don't hear it now. Good morning, sir. How okay, you it's good now. What's up? Morning, Look, right you. Look how pretty uh, that. One thing I will say, y'all see that cargo ship right there? It ain't going to crash into a bridge, yeah. is it? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awful, man. That's the first one I've seen being unloaded on the weekend in about six months. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. hell, that damn earthquake yeah. in Taiwan's fixing to fuck up a bunch of shit. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like COVID all over again with the chip manufacturers not able to not able to produce chips. That's crazy. Uncle Will, I have a feeling we're going to have a bad hurricane season. Yeah. It could. It very well could be. It's going to get bad whenever the eclipse happens. It's going to cause some Hey, so what you what y'all are saying is then is i need to quit giving this fish away i need to start stocking the freezer up is that what you're saying yeah yep. i don't I'm know just they in say, case, probably they say every year we're gonna have hurricane season uh, we have one or two and then that's but we, last year we got it started early early you know and well, I live in Tampa, and I got lucky twice because the past two years it was coming directly at us. And first year it went south, then last year it went north of us. And dude, they hey, they talked like it was gonna blow us down, and it got bad out mm -hmm. there. Out here, and there wasn't hardly nothing. I was trying to get the old man to leave. I know. First year, um, I went, I rode it out here, you know, at home because I'd never been through nothing like that, and. It was awful here. And right. then last year, I went over to Lakeland and stayed in a hotel, and it didn't do shit. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they'd be a little... They know, too. They know, but... it's. But, I think they do that, too, to get people to go hotels and stuff. It's a money thing, then... They, they do it to make them pay attention to their news channel because they get... You know, publicity. Crazy. Yeah. It's not really about the motels and all. It's about you tuning into their station. And yeah. I that shit. They, yeah, they get paid for revenue just like just like some of the channels. Clicks and views. Hey. Yeah. I mean, we are due for some major hurricanes, but. I feel we, it this year. We ain't had a Katrina or, or nothing like that that's done the damage. Right. Thank God, because 
I don't know if the U.S. could handle another Katrina right now. As much I just money. have a feeling this year, man, it's going. Wow. Well, we're sending money over to uh, Ukraine and trying to turn our back on Israel. So we and letting see. illegals over the border. We we can't uh, afford much more. We'll be bankrupt. What do you, hey, Jam, what's your take on uh, illegals coming? Why they're letting them? Votes um, for Biden. They want them, they want them to be undocumented <laughs> Democrats. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking well, it was the workforce for yeah. something, man. They're paying them, they're paying them uh, uh, $5,000 a month and paying their hotels and cell phones and... I mean, they're not coming over the border anymore. They're just getting on a plane and going to whatever city they want to go to. Yep. But yeah, if we wanted to go to their city, up, we'd have to go through hell them. to get there. Yeah, see, I don't get that shit. Which, hey, look, I know this is the land opportunity. And, it, you know, if you come it, legal, though, that's different, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a lot different. <laughs> But my thing is, is I don't but hold they, they, They've let over 10 million people in already. That we know of. Imagine the ones that we don't know about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's, I think it's one for votes. And then, I think it's votes, too. I think there's also a sinister part of it, too. And, you know, in illegals, yeah. they'll take cheap amount of money to work. You know what I mean? To send it back home and shit. Oh. What? Uh, the military yep. Well, they're messing my side hustle up because I planned on smuggling illegal aliens over with my sailboat. I can't charge through it. <laughs> now. So well, I mean, there's a reason why all these uh, game cameras that people have out on their, their farmland out, like in Arizona and Texas, they keep showing all these, these images they're catching of uh, military age Chinese men yep. over yeah. the border. Yeah, I just found this out recently that it, there's majority of the people coming across are Chinese. I don't know if, if you ever In Venezuela. Look up how Mecca was Mecca was taken over. Like years yep. ago, like you know, when the Muslims invaded the Mecca, inside. they did it from the inside out. They didn't do it from the outside in, because they already yep. had people in place. They had like politicians and shit that were part of the Muslim faith that were there just to overthrow the government and shit. When it came time, that's how they took yep. Mecca. Well, it teaches I mean, them in the Quran to do that. That's how the Quran teaches them to operate. Look at Biden. I mean, he's been bought and paid for by China. We all know that. I mean, Did y'all see that guy they arrested? He was an illegal, and he was he was a star on TikTok, but he was on there um, doing things, telling illegals how to take over abandoned houses and stuff, be squatters, and get away with it and all that. They were telling them to go in people's houses while they're not there and just take over. Yep. Yeah. He, he was on there teaching them all how to do that. If they stay there 30 days, then they have to go to court and battle it in court to get you out. Yep. Hey, I go home and somebody's in my house. We Somebody's going to court, but it ain't them. Shoot first, then call yeah. the law. <laughs> well, I've seen that text or that Florida sheriff said, said it, it said, shoot their ass. It's, it's cool. <laughs> There's more and more sheriffs starting to say that now, too. Yeah. I mean, Let's go, Brandon. It's going to come down to a fucking civil war before it's over. Oh, I believe that. World War Three. I hope not, but I believe you're right. And I, honestly, I know a lot of people don't like Trump and all that, but, you know, he is a damn good president, and I believe he's the only one that can halfway or get this mess straight, you know? Well, he said day one it would begin a mass deportation of yeah. all these illegals. I know one here on YouTube they can go get. Hey, look right there. Y'all see Good that? Shit. <laughs> Y'all see that? <coughs> right 
That's funny when I went over there with the board patrol name. <laughs> out there, Tom. Yeah. Wow, stunning. There's a ton of them. I've never seen that many of them come down the river at one time. There's probably 20 of them. I bet it's beautiful oh, wow. out there. Can you see them? Yeah. How many? What is, is that a barge or? That's dolphins on the water. Oh, right. oh, oh, holy crap. Mm -hmm. Have you ever caught a dolphin? Yeah, there's more of them right now. I, I swam to it, son. Look, no, no, they're, they're, they're literally coming right here. They're, they're very gentle and nice. Yeah. That's more than I've ever yeah. seen. But there's a whole pot of them right there too. There's several pods that's just past me. And then, can you see them? Look how close they are. They're, I could, I could cast and get one of them with a fishing line right now. Oh wow! Damn, that's cool. Hey, Uncle Will. Yes, ma'am. How's Here. it going with your son's um? I'm almost, house. I'm almost done with it. That's cool as shit. I want you to make me one now. <laughs> hey, I don't have that much in that thing. I, I know. That. I've been looking at them and stuff because I want. I was going to get like a shed and turn it into a little house, you know, stuff. And then you started doing that. And I've been watching videos and stuff. And shit, that's where I'm at. I'm in the fucking. Uh, I bought a shed and turned it into a computer room. I look right there, Dave. That's what I wanted to do. Because I have my own little business. I want to put yeah. like half, you know, in, and okay. then live in the other half. Bro, I've never seen that many dolphins in one place. It's looking good in there, JM. Yeah, That's beautiful. Like sunset, or that sunrise back there. Can you see all them dolphins, though? I can't see them. Bro, that's crazy. It's Can you make your picture bigger on here? Click the full screen for you so we can see it better. Is that an oil rig off in the distance? Them are cranes. Them are cranes. I'll go back through there and get to try to blow it up, but I'm going to tell you right now, that would have been a single video. Get right? some pictures. Oh, you're on your phone, ain't you? Hey, there was there was at least 50 of them right now. Holy crap. Yeah. I've never seen that many dolphins together like that. Ever. And that one just jumped all the way out of the water. They're so cool to watch, too, when they're doing that. Yeah. Well, see, the other weekend now, when I was out here, they were tail slapping. And I was like, what the hell does that wild thing That's doing? That's mating, ain't it? They're mating? Or... No, there was a bunch of boats around. And from what Google was saying, they do that to, uh, uh, like, a uh, echo radar to, so they could be safe. And not run into a boat. Oh hell, that's cool. It's like so. They're off. very smart. I know that. Yeah, they're highly, highly intelligent. Yeah, I went on a cruise and I went on an excursion to swim with them, and it was the most amazing experience ever. We got a couple of weeks and we'll be on the Atlantic Ocean. We got, well, we're going to Hilton Head. That's one thing I definitely want to make it over there to the Atlantic side <laughs> and all over the Pacific. That's where I went cruising. No, we went to the Caribbean, yeah, Atlantic. Going to cruise, they're amazing. Yeah. Amanda's going on one here uh, in a month and a half. We were talking about that yesterday. And it's really not that expensive because you get food included and everything. Hey, that me. That would be a lot of fun. Hey, that's easy. $2,000 for me. And like, if you do book a cruise, don't go through an agent or nothing. Do it yourself. It's a lot cheaper. Right. Well, she goes through an agent. But she's taking the kids and the grandkids. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to cost me $2,000. Yeah. 
time. Two thousand? Oh, I guarantee it. If not more, it's going to be a lot more than that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going on vacation, you know what I mean, like traveling all these different places, food included. You know, you don't have to worry about gas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's definitely the way to go. Yeah. I think we went on, we done eight night cruise in the Caribbean and I think it was like $7,000. Yeah, we did, uh, we did, it was 10 days. It was the best, best thing that I'd ever done in my life. It's amazing, ain't it? It really is. The only thing I didn't like about it was they wasn't in port long enough at these different places. They was trying to pack to me. Yep, and you couldn't see everything. You were in a hurry. You were going to miss the ship. Yep, yep. That, that I agree. But now, if you hey, I'm a gambler now. I'm a gambler. I'll let them go do all their shit that they want to do. I want to try to win some money or play or whatever. Go to a casino. <laughs> oh, hey, I literally won probably twenty thousand. Damn, Charlie, what happened? Come come back, Charlie, and I'll, I'll bring you back in. I didn't see you, but I was messing with my paws. Somebody in chat said they're backstage, I think. He ain't back there now, though. But if he comes back in, I'll let him back in. But um, I probably won 20000 but I lost it, too, though. <laughs> it's easy to do. Yeah, well, hey, I got this. I was like, shit, I'm on free money. I'm fixing to try to hit, you know didn't work out. I should have stopped while I was ahead. Well, come on back up, Charlie. Damn, JM left too. What about, I'm still what about them people that's on that nine-month oh, yeah. cruise? Oh, I just didn't see you, JM. No, I couldn't do no nine-month cruise. I couldn't either. It sounds fun, but it would I'm, get old quick. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, after 10 days, I was ready to come home. Yeah, after eight of, nights, I was ready to go. Have you heard of the lifetime cruises? What? The what? I guess they have a, a lifetime cruise for people that are retired. They, you just travel around on the ship. No, I'm hmm, good. I heard that. I know about the nine month one, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm good. I can pass on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could deal with being around that many people that, that long. Hey. And you know, you stay around people that long, you get arguments going and. Hey, can you, can you imagine, <laughs> can you imagine the swingers, the old ones? Oh, Jesus Christ. Catching, catching. Hey. Oh no. Hey, I follow some You'd of them on that nine month that. cruise on TikTok. And there's these swinger couples on there. She hangs her pineapples on her door upside down and everything. It's so loofas. funny to watch. <laughs> the loofahs. That's what you got to look out for. That's, that? that's Apparently, that's a Florida thing. If you see a loofah, depending on the color, depends on like how far you go as a swinger. Pineapples, They're, too. Upside I, down pineapples. I'm good. Me, too. I got seven. Fuck good. that. <laughs> I don't care if I ever do that shit again. I ain't sharing nothing. Like, no. <laughs> uh, to me, man, that would ruin a relationship. Ain't that kind of like infidelity? I mean. Yeah. Dude, I know people have yeah. been on time and done that shit. And then afterwards, their marriage didn't last a year. So. Yeah, I can't do that. Lufa code uh, started in uh, the villages in Florida. The villages? That's right down yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it to Florida. Yeah. The set's fucked up. But look, it's like this, right? You ain't happy with the partner you with. Don't marry him. Why you gotta run around? That's or divorce him. Exactly. But I know couples that were or you would think they were happy. And then do that shit, and then after that, you don't want to see your significant other getting down with somebody else. What kind of? Mm -mm. 
I've been married 26 I now. It. I mean, 26. Congratulations. Congrats. 26 years or 26 times? <laughs> 26 years. <laughs> okay. You lost for a second. I thought you said times. I was fixing to say, God yeah, dang, Jam. Dang. Well, my ex husband's on his sixth marriage. Thanks, thank God I was the first wife because he's on number six now. <laughs> Damn. That, uh, what you mm -hmm. thank, that's what I said. Thank God I was the first one because I ain't boo boo the foo. That's right. Well, I've been married for 20, James. So that's a mm -hmm. lot. That's a long that's time. That's a long time. You don't see that no, it don't these happen. days, you know? It ain't like it was back in the old days. Hey, and you know. What gets me is a lot of people say marriage is work. No, it's not. Marriage is is a uh, not really work. It's just it's compromise. compromise. Yeah, it's yeah. a compromise. And what commitment and love and you have to you can't be in a relationship and not put no work into it, no matter what, married or not. You know. Well. It's, if you really love somebody, it's not work, though, Cotton. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're not going to work in a relationship, then why have one? Right. Jam, your wife's your best friend, ain't she? Yep. Yeah, see, that's how I feel about Amanda. And we always had we had him talk. So I thank her all the time. I'm like, thank you. And she just look at me. She knows what I'm talking about now, but the first time I told her that, She's like, for what? And I was like, for spending time with me. For spending your time with me. Because the time you have is the most important thing that you have in this world. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I love y'all's marriage, Uncle Will. And you're so respectful. You know, you seen my post that one time I had married guys on here hitting on me and shit. I'm like, dude, I ain't going to be your friend. You're married and hitting on me. What the fuck, you know? It's hard yeah. to find a respectful guy and... I would never, I would never, uh, inv like disrespect her like that. You know what I mean? I just. Oh, I know. Look how long I've known you, and you've never, and you know we've been close, and you have never ever. Nah. Hey, let me. I've known, I've known my wife since we were kids. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh man, when I when I met her. Now. She was dating a friend of mine, and they were together for a little while, but he ended up getting strung out of drugs and was beating her up and shit. Oh, but fuck was, that. Yeah, it oh. was a little weird at first, you know what I mean? But I was really protecting her because I was like, I'd always protected her anyway from this when I was around. But, and I don't know. But if, it, if she hadn't got out of that situation... She might not be here today, you know, if it wasn't for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. He overdosed. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So, See? Bought that shit out in people, and they wonder how you can just pick it out. It's like, bro, I've been around that shit my whole life. Mm-hmm. Hell, when you pin the hell out of it. Boy. And you know what? That's one of the reasons why I stay out here on this water all the time. So, all my friends from I grew up with, 90% of them are strong in the fuck. I can't have nothing to do with them. That's why I left home whenever I got out of prison. Hey, and that's I not didn't that, fall back into that. You hear me? Yeah. It's not I don't care about them. I just know. That I can't get mixed up in that shit. I don't. I don't want nobody even looking at me like that. Mm -hmm. Just even being associated right. with them, you know, they group you with them. Yep. Hey, well, they've run around and stole shit from people and just done so much bad shit that I refuse to even look. Let me tell you something. One of one of the guys that um actually taught me how to hang sheetrock got it so far down and so bad off. I gave him a, a truck, and uh, the brake caliper on the front locked up. And Hush, Winnie. It made him wreck. Well, his excuse for selling it was because the truck almost killed him. I was like, bro, you're fucking walking. What are you doing? You're selling. I know what he did. He sold it to go get dope. And I was like, a fucking brake caliper is 60 bucks, bro. What, what are you doing? 
paying that. I don't know. Just that type of mentality and type of thinking and shit, I ain't got time for. You can't help somebody hang on. No. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. Uh -huh. but, Big hey, facts. When, uh -huh. we were kids, when we were kids, he helped me so much, and I felt like I kind of owed him. You know what I mean? So I gave it to him to try to help him get on his feet. And, uh, that was a nice little truck, too. It is what it is. One of them, it was my best friend. Y'all remember that little S10 I used to drive? I do. Uh, that, it's sitting at my house right now. Tore up because I let him use it and he ran it out of oil. He get back to school. He strung it on that shit. Instead of going and buying a quarter of oil or even calling me. Because I told him, I was like, dude, the truck used a little bit of oil. There was a gallon in the back. If you need any more, call me. Because I already knew he wasn't going to buy the oil. But he wouldn't even call me. Because he was scared. Was Probably so high all the time. Didn't even remember to put oil in it. No, he, well, he was scared I was going to take the truck back from him. He wouldn't be able to go get his dosage. Dang. That's what, yeah, tore my shit up. Sitting at the house. I thought that, about that. But you just didn't know. Yeah, that shit baffles me. It's like, how do you... How does a person get like that to that point? I mean, I've dealt with plenty of addictions myself, but it's like... I, I always took Some shit I just grabs hold of you, man, and takes over, you know? That's I was an know. addict, and oh, yeah. I never, you know, and I've been clean 17 years, and... Congrats <laughs> on that. Hey, congrats on that. Not nobody Thank you. Way. You hear me? Huh? I try not to knock nobody for what they do. You know what I mean? I know. Oh, yeah. But you got to take care of business too, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't have any sympathy for addicts really because you can't keep doing the same shit, you know? Nah. You got to get help and really be serious if you keep. I mean, I have a soft spot for them, but. If I can get clean, anybody can. Because I was on crack. I've been very open about my addiction, you know, and that's really hard to get off of. Oh, yeah. Well, no, and no. Um, if I can do it, anybody, anybody can. can. Seriously. You got to want to, though. Yep. Well, see, I went you to can. prison. That helped me, so. If you don't want to be clean, ain't nobody going to get you clean. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yep. And when I got out of prison, I left and moved f four hours away from home because I didn't want to be around it. Yeah, well, yep. see, that, that's a good thing. And that's what I'm saying about being out here on the water all the time. That's one of the reasons why I'm out here, just so I ain't got to be a such mm -hmm. Because a lot of them know that I got a big heart. And they would, man, it would piss Amanda off. I'd be like, man, just shut up. You know what I mean? I'm just... Because they'd always want money from me or something, you know. And I and you I, know what they wanted it for. And and I ran my own drywall company. And a lot of them worked for me, man. And you end up caring about these people. But you care more about them than they do themselves. Right. Yep. You got to show tough love. Mm -hmm. And that's how I am with addicts, you know, that's still active. And But if I see that you're actually trying to get better... I know it's a struggle for some. Right. I can I can respect that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I so yeah. the one that I let borrow my truck, the lap, not the one I gave a truck to, but the one that I let borrow my little truck. My best friend as kids, kids riding bicycles together, uh, picking up Coke bottles back in the day, so we could go get a can of dip together. That, you know what I mean? If you seen one, you seen the other. And man. He would he'd never do nothing like that if he was sober, you know what I'm saying? But he's got me for money and everything else, and I let him do it over the years just because. You know. But finally, you just got to cut ties with him, and I hope he gets mm -hmm. clean. He would he would always lie to me, man. I'm 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 getting clean, man. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. The statistics are very low for him getting clean. It's sad to say, and yeah, yeah. Every one of them doctors, I'd be prosecuted that's fucking got this shit going on. 
Yeah. They need to start harsher punishments on these drug dealers and shit and all that, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, here, here's the problem, though, Cotton Candy. A lot of that dope comes from the U.S. Yeah, yep, I agree. A lot of that you know, shit. back back in my day, you didn't hear about like heroin and fentanyl and you know what I'm saying? And, hey, and now... Where well, I, I mean, Alan heroin Hampton. was popular up here where I live, but yeah, the fentanyl shit, that's last 10 years. So it's really it's crazy, man. Over. And it's yeah. like wiping out a whole generation. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was saying about the borders being open for labor force. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I was to earlier is because so many people's died. They need the labor force. You know, the birth rates went down in America too dramatically. Yeah. Well, they keep talking about the great replacement theory. Uh -huh. The replacement, the great replacement theory. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, the birth rate ain't went down at my house. I raised seven old fuckers. I did my job. I got four. Yeah. One of mine is going to graduate boot camp. That's what's up. Nice. He'll be a Marine. Well, a week from now, he'll be at the cru He'll be doing the crucible. He's got okay. one week, and we'll be headed to Gross. South Carolina. That's what's up, man. My Otis just opened his own plumbing business, and I'm so fucking proud of him because I broke that cycle, you know? Yeah, it's always good to watch him succeed, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as a parent, that's all you can ask for is that you did your job to well, raise him up and... I hope, our, you know that they do better than you that's right that's our job <laughs> get them a little farther ahead than than where where you came from yeah. you want them to have more than what you could give them as they were growing up you know what does that make sense like oh yeah because you struggle you know when they're little and raising them and all that and you want them to do better than that yeah, that's right and you, you want them not to go without either. If you went without it, right. you want to see your young and do. That's mm -hmm. why I, Give them what you could and get yourself. And That's why I was telling Shotty when I first got on tonight that I used to work from sun up and I wouldn't get home. You know, daylight around here, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'd already be on the job. I'd work until 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at That's night. That's how my daddy was. He yeah. built houses and he worked his ass off for us. Yep. And I, I hung sheetrock. So same same thing. My kids had four wheelers and everything. I never had none of that shit growing up. Hell, I, I couldn't even finish school. I had to go to work to live. But I don't regret none of it. But I just, I wanted, I sacrificed myself pretty much to make sure that they got a chance to get ahead. So my oldest one pisses me off bad. You know what I mean? The type of shit she pulls her mama boy she goes above and beyond to help her and it's like man i know that you do it for the kids and all but you gotta cut back some and because she's taking you gotta be their parent not their friend yeah well she's taking advantage of her is what it is amanda wants so much for, for him you know and she's hoping that she'll just wake up well she's 30 years old you got her so tough love yeah her her waking up days are over with she's not gonna wake up and I love her to death, you know, but one of them deals, man. She's too worried about what she wants instead of what them kids need. And uh, yeah. I've tried to get her to give them to us, and she won't do it. I wish times was still like it was when I was growing up. Yeah, I'd have just took them. I'd have just yeah. took them and get your ass right and come get them. But, ooh, geez, Louise. And Hitting up by that bank. Let me recast this joker. Hey, yeah, which family court systems are so jacked up too. But there ain't but so much you can do though, you know what I mean? And fish is killing it up by the bank. Oh, man. Y'all give me just a second. I got to rebate some hooks real quick.
I'm, I'm starting to fall asleep. Oh. Shit, I just woke up. I think my butt's going to go crash out for a little bit. Uncle Will, thank you for having me up. Well, it's nice speaking with you. It's nice speaking with you as well. James, good seeing you. Yep, you too. Have a good morning. See you. Okay. Got dog, I gotta keep dropping this damn mini, wiggling out of my hands. Hey, there's a big old fish hitting over by the bank. I hope I can get it. Hey, fishing's a drug for me, though. I guess that's a, not that bad. Of a Could be worse, couldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Anything can always get worse. But like I say, hey, I can't help it. I love fishing. I'd rather be out here than anywhere in the world. I had one bite and I, I got broke off this morning and that was it. But there was a red right up there by the bank up here by that hitting right there. And that's what they do. They push that bait up by the grass line and then they get them, boy. What kind of fish are you catching? Red bass. Which we ain't catching them yet. We're trying to. My dad just go fishing. He loved crappie. Yeah, well, that's the fresh water. I'm in salt water. Oh, that's right. I'll be trying to catch some 20 and 30 pound fish. I caught some last weekend. You ever got a shark? Uh-uh. Now, somebody asked me that yesterday, but, you know, I, I target fish. I'm, I'm fishing with what they eat, you know what I mean? A certain <laughs> species of fish. Oh, eat. okay. Which shark will eat a mullet, but they like, I don't know, sharks like a, a what's the word I'm looking for? A scavenger fish. They don't really eat blue crabs and stuff like that. I'm sure they would if they were hungry, hungry, but they like stuff that's dead already almost. It's like, mm -hmm. like they can smell blood and. Yeah, exactly. I'm fishing for game fish. And them boys must have been up all night. They done started going to bed is what it is. I, I got up about 3.30 this morning. Got me a cup of coffee in. Mama Savannah, hey, love. I love Savannah. Yeah, she's, that's good people right there. She is. That's my mama. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you now, there's a, there's a good community on here for sure. There's some good people. Mm -hmm. Damn, you ain't got you. You done with all your training stuff? Do what? Are you done with all your training? Oh yeah, I I renewed my EMT license a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So how does all that stuff work? What do you got to do? You go take like just certain CPR classes and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a uh, every two years there's a refresher course that you have to take, and it just gives you the like you just run back through all the updated protocols and things that may have changed in the last two years, right? And you have to have so many hours of um, like there's online classes you can do where you watch you watch like slides or whatever on the computer. And then at the end of it, you have to take a test. It ain't like it used to be you used to, you had to go sit in a classroom and do all that. You'd have to do that shit like hands on. Right. And now they allow you to do it on computer. So you can, like I did, I did, I think I did about 40 hours of uh, computer trying, like doing training from the computer. Hey, let me ask you. So that machine that they're using to do chest compressions instead of people doing it now, what do you think about that thing? Oh, it's a lifesaver. 
is it? Because it looked like it was breaking them that dude's ribs that they were using it on. No, you need to like when you're doing CPR, you have to in order to to get the heart to beat, you have to press down on that chest like that. Otherwise, you're not doing any good. Okay. Yeah, and and just, a lot of times you'll hear you'll okay. hear something popping. Like when you're doing CPR, you'll feel something and you'll think, "Oh shit, I'm breaking bones." Or no, you're not. It's cartilage between the ribs that's, that you hear. There's cartilage between the rib, between the bones and the ribs. And every time those ribs move a certain way, that cartilage will pop. It's just like popping your knuckles. Okay. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. But that thing looked like, because you could see the dude's stomach and all, like, it looked like a wave when that thing would go down. It was just rocking through his body. Yeah. It looked freaky is what it looked. But, hell, you know, back in the day, my mom, that's what she did. She worked on life support equipment. And then after my dad died, she just lost it. Yeah, yeah it, it's a lifesaver. Yeah. That's the Lucas up. device. Lucas. I just seen it. It looked weird. We got uh, we got two of them. On, a, on our on the volunteers trucks that that I'm in the fire department, we have one on two. We have one on our rescue truck and one on our engine. Right. And in the ambulance, we carry one. In the ambulance. Yeah, I, I just when I seen it, it they just look kind of freaky. Yeah, they're they're yeah, worth right. it. I'm, huh? Have you had to use it? Oh yeah, yeah. What's hey? Other than overdoses, what's the main like the main serious call that you get? Heart attacks. Yeah, yeah. Did we I got do? a guy that lives down here close to me. He's four miles away. I know his address when it pages out because I, I remember. It. Uh, he coded. He had a, a heart attack, and when we got the call. I was the first one on the scene and, and his wife met me in the yard and was like, Hey, he, he was sitting up. He just slumped over on the table. And so I got my bag and went in. And when I checked for a pulse, he didn't have one. I was oh, like, God. Oh shit. And I, um, I stepped to the door to listen for the siren to see how far out they were. Cause I didn't have any help. And I come back and I was like, Hey, you're going to have to help me till they get here. Cause I need some help to get him in the floor. So, I got her to help me put him down in the floor and started doing CPR. And the ambulance got there. They come in with the Lucas, and we got him back. And they transferred him out of the hospital to uh, Grandview, where they have a cath lab. He had a 99% blockage in the Widowmaker. And it wasn't but a couple of weeks after that. I was at the Dollar General down here about a mile from my house, and a guy walks up to me. I didn't know who he was. I, I didn't recognize him. I don't keep up with faces. Right. And he walks up and he's like, hey, man, I just want to shake your hand because uh, you helped save my life. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I, I had a heart attack the other day on, uh, and he named the road. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see him again, but there he was. He, he had a, uh, they had to put in a, uh, a defibrillator in his chest. Hey, that's that I was talking about you uh, yesterday. I was saying how like you and Charlie are special people because of what y'all do, man. It takes a special person to serve the community. People don't get in to just being a rescue worker or a firefighter just because they want to. You know what I mean? They have a special calling to, to help and try to save somebody. And that's, that's a special characteristic about you, man. I appreciate you more than you know. Oh, I, I appreciate it. And we have hell getting people to to join the fire department because we're a volunteer. I mean, we don't get paid for any of it. So nobody wants to do anything for their community. You got to have the passion to be a volunteer for real, you know? No, on the ambulance, I mean, it, it's a paying job. I get paid to work on the ambulance, but and the volunteer yeah. firefighting stuff, don't nobody want to do it because they don't get nothing out of it. Right. That's well, fucked up. Let me tell you something. Uh, there is people that think about it and I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I get. I mean, I enjoy it. 
it's strict. You have to, you can't, like me, I could never do anything like that. They wouldn't let me because I'm a convicted felon. I wish they would. I'd be right there doing it. Yeah, that, I don't agree with that shit. Because we got people in the, in the department and they can, they can be volunteer firefighters, but they can't be certified like through the fire college because they have felony convictions. Right. And that's crazy. You know, like me, I messed up when I was real young. It's not like <laughs> I crime every day anymore, you know. But it's like they, I got fe- some felonies too, and it haunts you your whole life. And no matter how good you do in life, you know. Yeah. Well, and it, it what it does is it forces you to walk that line between going back to how you used to be. <laughs> Or, or doing something illegal to be able to get by because mm-hmm. like doing a shitty job or what have you, you know. Some some people feel like it's hopeless and there ain't no way out. That that ain't good either, you know. No. Nope. Yeah, it's messed up. I mean, there's a lot of people that we had one that that joined the department and he he stayed in for I don't know about six months, but. He couldn't take any of the classes through the fire college because he had a, a felony. And he finally just got frustrated and he, he ain't been back. Right. Well, you can't blame him, Doug. No. That's, and, you know, they should change that shit. Once you've been out of trouble for so many years, that shit ought to go away. You can get it, like in Kentucky, you can get it expunged after seven years if you don't have any other. Yeah, that's the way it is here. Now, I've been through all that shit because I had a nonviolent. It was a, I had an issue with a family member that when I was in an, in an active addiction, I did shit and wasn't proud of it. But I mean, it was a family member that went in on a, a cell phone bill and a credit card with me. Then he went and told that uh, I didn't give him permission to do that. He stole my identity. So I got hit with that, did everything I was supposed to do, and I came out of it and didn't know about expungement or, or none of that shit. Wound up, when I started finding out about what I could do, I could have done it five years sooner and been that much that much further ahead but i didn't know so i wound up going through the pardon process and got approved i got a pardon and that's how i got where i am because i wound up getting a pardon damn i need to check into that jam i've been out for 20 years you should be able to get it expunged for sure i got the piece of paper in the house that's signed by the governor where i got my pardon Damn, I need to check into that. It's worth it. I mean, you can do it through a lawyer or you can do it on your own. Doing it through a lawyer, they charge you. Here, it's like three, between three and four thousand dollars just to just to do the paperwork. Right. And they guarantee that you'll be in front of the uh, Department of what is it, probation and paroles or whatever, the three judges that, that decide within one year. Well, I didn't do that. I didn't go through a lawyer. I did it on my own, and it took me five years of waiting. Because they told me when I did it, like, hey, there's a backlog on pardons for five years, like a five-year backlog, so you might be waiting a while for your paperwork. I was like, well, I've been waiting this long. What's another five years? So when I started back in 2017, I, I didn't know how long it would take, but I was like, fuck, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then my pardon got approved in the middle of COVID. Damn. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, there was some good stuff that come out from uh, COVID, it just very little. Yeah, they it messed up. I think it fucked up more than it helped. Oh yeah, it's me that. too. It, it changed the world. Yes, yep, you still got I, people driving around in cars with masks on by herself and shit like that, and that makes no sense. <laughs> it's like I bet I bet they shower with the mask on too. And I work in the fucking medical field. I mean, 
yeah, we had like nursing homes and shit that required us to wear them. But any other time, if we had a COVID patient, we got in the back of the truck with them, then mask was coming off. I mean, they didn't fucking work. No. It's like, uh, well, if you can smell a fart through it, COVID can get through it. Exactly. It takes a real fucking, like a real, real respirator to keep COVID from getting through it. Like one of them respirators you can't hardly breathe through. Yeah, I mean... Unless you're going to put on a SCBA every time you go to deal with somebody, you really you're not doing yourself any favors. And then all the respiratory problems that came from people wearing them dirty ass mask. Mm-hmm. The social cues that kids aren't able to learn because they're all wearing masks and shit, and they don't like they missed out on learning social cues from other kids, and now they're suffering. Yep, people didn't even look at it like that, did they? No, they didn't, no. Hey, so, and something else, have you, have you where did, whatever happened to that old Dr. Fauci, whatever happened to his ass? Oh, I don't think he will show his face in public. Dude, wasn't it funny once they figured out that he had invested in that fucking clinic, they got his ass off TV, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, the most powerful man in in the fucking United States, that's, he ain't even an elected official. He was appointed. But he had more power than the damn president telling people, oh, uh, wear two masks. It might help. Pretty much. Pretty it was all bullshit. Yeah, it was. Maybe it came from a bat. I don't know, maybe it came from the fucking SARS COVID two lab in China, you know, where the fucking disease originated. That's what Trump says. I don't know why they were playing with that shit to start with, to be honest with you. Or even John Stewart called it out. You know, he he called it out on uh, when he was sitting with Stephen Colbert one night on the, the Daily Show. He was like, well, maybe it came from a bat. Oh, no. Maybe it came from the the COVID lab in whatever, Wang Pong, China, whatever the fuck the name of it is. Like, how the hell can you say it came from a bat when the name of the fucking lab that's in that city is the COVID, the SARS-2 whatever lab? Well... Wow. Let me tell you, it, it makes you wonder why they was fucking what they were doing trying to create that shit anyway. Yeah, they, they were, were trying to create a bioweapon. Yeah. And then so a bitch even called it out, said, oh, it's going to be a mass fucking whatever, whatever. Uh, and they're saying another one's coming. There was millions of people that died over that shit. If that was me or you that did some shit like that, we'd be under the jail. Yeah. Under the motherfucker. Well, what can you do? I mean, it, that's big money. Yeah, and that's all it was, too. Look at, hey, I, and we'll never know exactly how many people got killed because of it. Because they damn, uh, they classified everything. Everybody dying of COVID. If they were sick, and even if they got in a car wreck, uh, it was COVID. Oh, and there's a good way to de decrease the population. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. But it was about, they decreased a lot of the sick. It was a lot of the mm -hmm. sick. Because the sick's what cost them money with medicine and hospitals. and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And see, and they wonder why people believe in that damn uh, conspiracy theory shit. Look what the you know, the, I, there's always some truth in conspiracy theories. There is. Oh, yeah. It seems like people's it. mind don't go to that. You know, so many people go to the same thing for no reason. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> well, you had people like Aaron Rodgers that came out and and was talking about the vaccine. And I mean, he called it out for what it was, and the NFL tried to silence him. 
that tells you a lot. They tried to use Aaron Rodgers as a like like to virtue signal. They tried to use Aaron Rodgers as a virtue signal to others to get the COVID vaccine. Yeah, and then hey, and then on top of that, then on top of that shit about getting the vaccine, you still catch the shit. Yeah. What kind of shit was that? That's the part I didn't understand. And like that damn governor or whoever up there in, uh, or the president in Canada. Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. Yeah. yeah. That some bitch sounds stupider than hell. They say he's like Biden. <laughs> well, there's a lot of them like Biden. And there's got to be a reason. Well, it's like. I mean, every time I think about Trudeau, I see him wearing back the blackface shit. Because uh, there's images of him wearing black, blackface years ago. Mm. And then same goes for, uh, what's her name, that just dropped out of the president, the race. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Yeah. The, the clip of her talking, telling the Chinese that she now works for them. And there's nothing they want that... Uh, that they won't ask that South Carolina won't give them. What? Fucking bitch. Yeah. I love Trump got her out of there. (laughs) It was years ago when the the Chinese opened up something in South Carolina and she was doing a a press conference and she was like, and there's nothing that y'all won't ask that, that we won't give you. I now work for you. And she turned to the Chinese, uh, Jing, Zhang Pao or whatever his name is. I now work for you and there's nothing that we, you won't ask that we won't give you. Fucking sell out. And she wanted to be a president. Yeah. Fuck that. I don't think a woman should ever be president. That is not a woman's job, in my opinion. Listen, it's like this. Um, a woman can do anything a man can do. And when they or let me let me rephrase that. <laughs> that a woman can do that men do when they're able to do it usually do it better than a man but there's some things man that women are not intended to do and it's, all, it, it's, it's just the way that it is but there's also things that women can do that men can't do right but gotta, when, I don't think a woman is I don't know women are too emotional and stuff and I just don't think it's a woman's place to be president. It's just, that's one thing that I, you know. That's that old time belief coming out. Which is okay. I'm, it's just, it's, that's weird to hear a woman say, though. But. Now, like, because my daughter, I'm going to tell you right now, my daughter can do anything any boy can do. Oh. Oh, I can too, but I, I don't know if I could be president. <laughs> hey, and still what one on his ass too. Then mama used to be mad too, Cotton. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you would whoop their ass and they pulled up and find out that they, their, their young and done got beat up by a girl. Huh. Right. That's happened a couple times. If I didn't think I'd catch it, I'd say this last clip of her whooping somebody's ass. I try to tell her, man, it ain't, you can't do that, though. You know, you get in trouble. She had one of those school bullies that kept me. She tore that girl's ass. She's a couple years old. You're older. cutting out some, Uncle Will. You're cutting out. All right, I'll be quiet for a second. Let me get underneath this bridge. Yeah, these next few months ought to be interesting. What about now? Am I cutting out now? 
No, no but it's got really loud background noise, sir. There yeah, we go. I got that motor. You're good now. Damn, I, I, I agree with you. It's, it's going to be very interesting. And that's one of the things I've been preaching to people about <laughs> making sure that they don't Hi, up, make them survive. <laughs> Best advice I can get to poor people, buy rice and beans and be prepared to eat that shit. Because it may get that. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. People, yeah, and a lot of people, uh, their mind don't think like that because they ain't never been through anything like that. But I wish that Pops would let me record him talking to people because he's lived through the Great Depression. And He's, he's very seldom ever wrong when he tells me something. And he's been telling me too, get, get prepared, be ready. It's coming. Oh, I think Trump's the only one that can help this country. I do. The state we're in now, with with all these, uh, these idiots that got to have Starbucks every morning and they got to have uh, Uber take them everywhere. I mean, they can't, they're not independent at all. They depend on somebody else for everything. When shit hits the fan, they're going to be the first ones that die. Yep. Because they can't do anything for themselves. None of them can. No. Just like when COVID shut down, you seen these girls on the internet freaking out because they couldn't get their nails done or their eyebrows. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, fuck an eyebrow, huh? Right. <laughs> oh shit! It's man, it is beautiful out here today. Which I probably fix and load the boat up, to get to the house. But matter of fact, I got some stuff I gotta do on the youngin's room today. I gotta finish it. I got it all hung and everything. I got to put a door in and actually do the money work, but it won't take me long, but I need his help because I need him to move them benches for me where I ain't got to get down and up and off. But hell, if, if me and his schedule could get together, shit, I should have been done with it already two months ago. But he works on the weekends and I'm off on the weekends. And sometimes when I get home, I don't feel like doing that shit, you know what I mean, after I've had a long day. Oh, duck right there. Hey, well, y'all have a good morning. Thank y'all for getting up, Jam. I appreciate you, sir. Absolutely. Oh, it's good talking to y'all. Have a good day, y'all. All right. Peace Thank you for having me. No, I appreciate it, Jam. Bye. Yes, sir. See you.